Hey everybody, this is E.S. Madison, and if you are trying to grow your business, brand, or product, why not advertise with me? Email me at booktsmadison at gmail.com so that you can get in on our comprehensive advertisement packages. Unique visits, unique subscribers, honey, a broad demographic. Advertise with me today. Quit talking and listen. Get over to my Patreon right now so that you can receive some exclusive content from the TS herself. Who you said? The TS. Patreon is filled with one-on-one, -on -one exclusive content, behind the scenes. You can even chat with me in there, me and you. It's just me and you. So get to www.patreon.com forward slash TS Madison Hinton. And you'll be glad you did. I promise. You ain't gonna have no other choice but to see me because I'm in everything. Every there it is right there. You ain't gonna right have there. no other choice but to see me because I'm in everything and everywhere. Ooh. I'm in film, no. television, okay. streaming, music, bitch, and pornography. Damn. Bye. It's morning, and we slept the night away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh. <laughs> the best part of waking up is a little Maddie in your cup. Good morning, everybody. I'm finna be real controversial this morning. Mr. Cole leaving me. Oh, thank you, Jesus. This is the Maddie in the Morning Show. And the views and opinion expressed on this program are mine. But the TS makes some motherfucking noise, too. This show is a comedic safe space to talk about the things from the night before. Tell me R. Kelly down there to the people telling the people that he gonna tell on everybody. They need to put R. Kelly out there in the Squid Games. Run, nigga. You have been a detriment to your community. You know, gay folks work for me, man. That is disgusting. Light gossip, but heavy thinking throughout the day. The crates. You colored people is dumb. E.T. for norm. I don't care whatever happens to Candace. Bless her heart. <laughs> the premise of this show is to be an unfiltered, unadulterated, opinionated show from the perspective of Miss T.S. Madison. We don't all got to get the fuck along because I don't get along with you with a lot of you black motherfuckers. Because you black motherfuckers don't get along with my black ass, bitch. So respect my gangster right now. The show is filled with regular folks, celebrity guests, and your round away girls, honey. Stop pushing your children away because of their gender or their sexual preferences. I what? just want to know where you found this wig at. Don't you do this to me. We're both sitting up here looking like women with shortcuts, so don't you ever <laughs> cut this whole off. We also have Mo, the engineer, who gives the straight perspective. News time. What the H-E-L-L? This is an LBGTQ show that's curated and created by us for you. I do understand as black people that we have a, a high rate of things that we need to worry about. We're not going to disrespect I'll, I'll her, but we're going to read her. I don't want no the government telling me what I can't do to my own body. Right. We are all God's creation, but we are not all his children. See, the problem is you hoes have issues and problems with us coming from the shadows. As long as we're in the shadows, y'all are right. We are millionaires, bitch. We are artists. We are contributors to the situation. It's morning and we slept the night away. It's Maddie in the morning, 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 Maddie in the morning. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, honey, it's nine o'clock somewhere. Get in here and watch the damn show. Oh my God, Mo, I don't feel centered. For some reason, I just oh. don't feel centered. I need to be, it needs to be all about me, okay? <laughs> I need to be centered. This is my show and it needs to be all about me. Are you centering me? It's, well, well, why does it seem like this is, okay, there it is. 
a little bit. You know what I'm saying? You know how I am, a vain bitch. So, so you the son? Huh? I said you the son? No, I'm the mother. No, I meant like the like the Oh, you meant dad? Yeah, that type of son. Oh, because like I was the one that shines rays on. I was gonna say well, Mo don't do it. <laughs> I was gonna tell you Mo don't do it. Do a lot of things, but don't do that. No, I meant the one, I meant the oh, one okay. in the, in the no, orbital because, space. Because you've gotten to be quite messy these days. <laughs> You, I'm, I'm you, never messy. You've been hanging around the fags, and so you've been quite messy these days, and it's getting, you know, it's getting a little bit out of hand. <laughs> I want to make sure this doesn't get out of hand. You know, the, oh, wait a minute, let me, let me, let me move this out of the way. Excuse me. Hold on. Uh -oh. I, I, thanks. You don't want it to get, uh, nothing happened to it. No, I don't want it. I just need to move it over here. Thanks. <laughs> uh, yeah. Or should I move it over here? Or, or I just might keep it, like, right here. <laughs> I don't know. Something, you know. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It has been quite some time that I have really said, what are they saying about the sound? Hold on. What are they saying about the sound? Can y'all, what are they saying about the sound? What they... What are they say about the sound? Can you hear us? Is the sound okay? Pasha, can you hear me? Pasha, can you hear me? Pasha, can you hear me? What they say about the sound? Oh, they say the sound is good. You sound oh, okay. It's, I think it's, I was doing this. I was moving around. Oh, it sounded okay. it sounded very hollow, like the deathly hollow. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, I have been going for a minute, but I'm back with the motherfucking job. Oh, yes. Um, it has been a lot. And I really honestly don't know where to write really begin. I do know that the uh I see y'all over there Instagram. I see y'all. We live on Facebook, we live on YouTube, we live on X, we're live on Instagram, we're alive. Um uh so I don't know where to begin. Where do you think we should begin? I'm, I'm gonna let the uh I see somebody saying congratulations on the two homes. Thank you. I have been uh, working very diligently to uh, renovate the new home. Now, it really didn't need a lot of renovations. It's just like I wanted I wanted my mansion to be exactly what I wanted to be. I wanted it to be um, uh, one of those mansions from Denver, Colorado. You know, if you know what I'm talking about, put your hands up. Those mansions from Denver, Colorado, those Kobe mansions, you know, those, <laughs> <laughs> those Carrington mansions. You know, before I had set foot in there, you know those Kobe and those character men, Mo. You, you, because you are not that young, and so you but do. I'm young enough, though. You, you're not that young. But I'm young enough. You, right, you're not that young. I'm the youngest one in. I'm it the doesn't matter. In this house it right doesn't now. matter. But you do, you do know about Dynasty, <laughs> right? You, you are very aware of Dynasty. <laughs> okay, from, from, I've, I've heard. As I've, long, no, you've seen. <laughs> You've seen Keisha, okay? <laughs> You've seen Dynasty. So yes, and I am still here in the marvelous. I am still. I still have the marvelous chateau. I have some wonderful news about what's going on with the marvelous chateau, but I'm not. I'm not ready to share that yet. Um, Alexa, what you doing over here, girl? Why are you spinning around like this? What's your tea? She heard her name. That's what Nobody said anything about you, girl. <laughs> Why are you spinning around? Because if you play any song, I'm busting you up with this mallet. <laughs> You play any song to get my video demonetized, I'm going to bust you up with this ballot. You better get it together, ho. So, okay, they said Gemini's in the house. I see y'all over here. On, uh, I'm looking down here on my computer, and I see y'all loud, live and in color over here on um, Instagram. Hey, Instagram. Hey, Twitter. You know? So... Y'all know that this show is proudly sponsored by my own, my very own perfume, everything. Yeah. Yeah, listen, you don't even need to do this because it's everything. You, you, you don't even need to do this. I'm, I'm yes, ma'am, I'm coming. You don't even need to do this. All you have to do is this, honey. You, all you got to do in the name of Poet of Jess is, is set, is dress, and rest. Uh, the link is in the bio to get the, to get the, The link is in the bio to get the uh, to get the perfume. Everything it is in the bio. It is there. Yes, thank you, Mama. Thank you, Miss Mayor. Girl, we about listen. It's the Super Bowl today. Is this tuna or chicken? Okay. <laughs> wait, Craig. Wait, Craig is here because we are having fan talk today. Craig saw that chicken salad come over here. Craig was like, 
anything come for me? <laughs> uh can you help? Can you can you bring Craig? There's a dressing up there that I like. It's called Ken's Country Fringe. Because today is the Super Bowl, I don't have a lot of time. No, Jameson is not here. Jameson is out of town with Monique. We'll be talking about that. So I did my own makeup. I got on me a synthetic wig. Y'all already know what's up. Y'all know I don't give a fuck. Craig, please bring me the country French and some croutons, please. Oh, she put croutons here. But the country French. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I have been <clears throat> in the process of drinking only water. Today is the first day that I'm having, and I'm already kind of slightly twisted. <laughs> Today is the first day that I have had alcohol. Well, maybe. Because I did do a podcast that I'm waiting for it to come out. And y'all, y'all gonna love the podcast when it comes out. So, you know. So, but today is the first day that I've had real, really alcohol. Okay. And I've been detoxing. I've been drinking water, minding my business. I haven't even been online addressing bitches, but I might today. <laughs> mm. Mm. But I have um been drinking water. This and this, I started back out with Stella Rosa. I'm only gonna have one glass. I know G's somewhere in the comment section or watching this video about to have a about to have a fit. But you know, I told myself, I said, Madison, girl, you're 46 years old. These young puss ass hoes be trying you, bitch. You know what I'm saying? You got to live to be hundred years old and the shit on these hoes until your last day. And even after that, you still will shat on them because of the things that you're gonna leave behind, you know, you. for them, actually. But Craig, did you bring me the tell address in the country French? Oh my God, thank you. Um, you ain't even wait for the dress. Mm -mm. This chicken salad is so good, Mo. <laughs> Miss Mary's not the girl to be tampered with. <laughs> You're right. I'm going to open Miss Mary's food truck, whether she wants it or not. <laughs> So if she don't want it, how you how, who's gonna be doing the cooking? I want y'all to put a one down there in the chat if you're ready for Miss Mary's food truck to open. Put a one down there in the chat because it's gonna be the one once it opens. Put a one down there in the chat if you want Miss Mary's food truck to open. Oh look, whoo, baby, y'all is just everywhere you have went, even my enemy bitches, even bitches that are my enemies, they love her. Has said. One thing that bitch can do is cook. She's yeah. calling you. Even my enemies. I remember when Kaya Ragley ass left here. She said she cussed me out and called me all kind of Mandy Manhoods, whatever she said. But, <laughs> but that bitch mama can cook. She said, I'm going to miss that bitch food because that bitch mama can cook. She said that. Tasha K brought her raggedy motherfucking nappy neck ass over here with those retarded looking ass kids, bitch. And that bitch said that, 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 that bitch my mama could cook. Oh, it's very good. Would you like some? Yeah. Even the raggedest of bitches to let y'all know that Miss Mary ain't the one. So I am going to open Miss Mary a food truck probably in the in the summer. Oh, and for I, real? Yes. So you'll have a third job, African. <laughs> y'all will get a chance to meet Mo. You'll get a chance to meet Chi Chi. You may not meet me well, or Miss Mary because we not we may not be there. What do you mean? But there will be. How's it gonna be Miss Mary food truck and she not there? Well, she may be there at times. <laughs> Who's she's she's cooking. You don't understand. Miss Mary is a prep queen. She's gonna cook for weeks, bitch, and have that shit ready. Um, what else? Uh, it's the Super Bowl. Yes, it is. So, and speaking of Kaya, which I really don't talk about much, but I want to tell y'all that today, well, this week is the week, Craig, and and Craig, you bag me up on this. The Queen's Court separated oh, yeah. on the night. Of the soup on the day after was it the day before or the day after because it was Super Bowl it was the day after the Super Bowl. The Queen's Court officially dissolved. Well, the Queen's the, the Queen's Court with me and Homegirl officially dissolved seven years ago. Seven years, right? Seven years ago after the Super Bowl. Ain't that something? Do you see how I've thrived since the separation? <laughs> <laughs> Can you see how I have thrived after the separation? 
but the Im- but the impact that was made by that show is still talked about to this to this day. <laughs> to this day. To this very day, it is still talked about to this day. Wow. Talk about impact. Talk about impact. And baby girl, because I know you watch, if you watch it, we are wishing you grace. We're wishing you gratitude. We're wishing you blessings. We're wishing you abundance. We're wishing you overflow because, honey, let me tell you something. What God has and has for each each one of us, what's ours, we will never miss it. And I want you to understand that what is ours and what is yours in this world, no matter how it comes or how it goes, you will never miss it. The, The weapons will form. They shall never prosper. Now. We are definitely going to get into some things and we're going to have some fag talk today, most definitely. Um, I'm, I have a very busy week, okay? I have a very busy week, so there's a possibility that y'all may get some more of me, maybe. I don't know. I don't even want to give y'all days. <laughs> but because I, y'all got me today, I'm going to give y'all I'm gonna give y'all all I got until it's time for the Super Bowl, bitch. <laughs> so, we're just probably going to jump right on into some fag talk. You ready, Craig? Um, Greg over there eat his death. You ready? Uh-huh. More widen this thing, honey. Widen this thing. Uh, hold on. Let, let me give Mo it. We got to give our 30. Uh, well, it's going to be my, maybe a minute, but we're going to give you two 30 seconds. Give me why. No, we don't need to. Let, 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 let them see you work. Let them see me work? Let them All see right. you work. Okay. See, let me pull the synthetic hair back while I eat this. <laughs> <laughs> you going to be eating? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Give you a break? Because mm-hmm. I'm going to piggyback off of what? Whatever is meant for you. Oh, oh. Won't miss you. Yes, yes, Craig, where you at, Ron? I am. Craig, did he eat? Craig, I'm not eating. Yeah. <laughs> Craig, where you at, Ron? Craig don't even want to get up. He gonna slide behind anyway. Craig, you gonna you gonna man the computer over here? Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. Slide your chair over here, bro. Get you a get hell of a seat, honey, Miss Netta. <laughs> <laughs> that, when I tell you that shit took me out with Miss with Miss motherfucking messy seat. When Messi C said, honey, it's never have a yeah. seat. What's up, y'all? Yes. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So here we come with a part of our show. We're getting ready to have some fag talk. Girl, let me set this salad down. Yes. Give me a little swallow of this city punch. Oh, this city punch, that water. <laughs> Girl. Greg, let's shop it up. Let's piggyback off of the things that I was just talking about earlier. Do you have anything you want to say? Because you were there at all. Uh, through it all. You mean when Kanye walked out? I mean, just the whole thing. Like, it's been seven years. Mm-hmm. It has. Like, I literally just started working with y'all. Yeah. <laughs> Why are you pause? Because I thought you were talking about today. Because I was like, don't do it, Faggy. You look so young, Craig, and pretty and vibrant. Girl, that's that um, motherfucking um, shit I've been putting on my face. You look like a real woman. <laughs> it's, um, what is this shit called? It's um, turmeric. It's like a turmeric toner that I've been using. Mm. And I have a turmeric scrub, face scrub that I've been using. So, yeah, I'm, I'm aging backwards. So, is it a black home? <laughs> <laughs> now, girl, I don't know if it's black owned or not. Now, the, now the turmeric scrub I did get from a black... A black woman. So is it black owned and black? Ooh, mama, this when I tell you this motherfucking chicken salad is hitting. I haven't even started. Bitch. I, got I had bought a rotisserie chicken and my mama came here and shredded that rotisserie chicken and made a salad, honey. It gave, gave me some of that good meat. Like that, the, that good meat. Okay. That good meat. <laughs> <laughs> like Miss Netta had, like, yeah, like, 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 like told Net, Miss Netta, honey, sit down. I will give Charles some of this good meat out of that pot. Mm. This that took me away from here. Girl, let's let's start there since we're there. No, we just start where we were. Okay, it's okay. been seven years. It's been seven years. Remind me to come back to Miss Netta. Don't let me forget to come back to Miss Netta. What you're not gonna do here? No, I don't. No, you don't even know what I'm about to say. <laughs> you don't even know what I'm about to say. We're not doing any fag on fag crimes. Well, first of all, she didn't say she was a fag, faggy. Well, she, she, she told you on that interview that she did not identify as any of that. 
she said that she's Miss Netta. That's right. So don't be trying to, don't be, I, it ain't no fag on fag nothing because she's not part of your community or mine. <laughs> Sweetheart, yes, she did say she is a part of the LB, the Labiquita community. She just didn't, and she didn't just tell us which left. Well, what the well, ubiquita? Well, where does she? Well, where did? Well, where does she fall? She did. She just didn't say which letter. Well, it, or letters. She, she, she letters. She letters. said my name is Netta, and that's what it is. Is it letters? Plural. She said my name is Miss Netta, and that's what it is, and that's what it shall be. Okay, so she's at least a T. <laughs> she's at least a T or a G. <laughs> but but that's why I said letters. Ah, but, but she's not a lesbian. It's not an L. No, because Charles is the man. <laughs> Get your ass over here. Come back. Come back. <laughs> you know what? It hasn't even been two minutes yet. Okay, but we're not starting there. We started with. <laughs> It hasn't even been two minutes. <laughs> Let me have one of the paper towels. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, my girl. While we in the string of it, while we just at the beginning of it, oh, God. Please make sure y'all get y'all tickets to Nashville, Tennessee. That's right. Because we're coming loud, loud, and in color to Nashville, Tennessee. Yeah. The oh. link is in the bio to get your tickets to Maddie in the Morning Show, honey, including Fab Tour. That's right. That's we'll right. Be up live and in color, February 29, 2024 at 8 p.m. Get your VIP tickets and packages that are available now. That's right. Honey, and look, I want you guys to know that we also have a Fag Talk website. It's fagtalk.com. And make sure you spell talk right. It's T-A-W-L-K. We have merchandise over there. You can also get your tickets for the for the city winery shows as well. We got some other dates for Atlanta coming up. They haven't been added yet. Well, because I need to make this announcement, I can do it now. <laughs> we do have a residency here in Atlanta. Yes. Thank you, Mo. You can see Mo, mostly I keep blessing you with jobs. Ooh. I appreciate that. Thank you. We do have a residency here in Atlanta at the city winery, and we will be, we'll, we, we will be dropping dates. For Atlanta. Now, it, our residency is for Atlanta only. So you got to come to Atlanta. So if you're in Atlanta around certain times and dates, come on out and catch the motherfucking Maddie in the Morning Show live. And even if you're not going to be around Atlanta, get your mega bus ticket <laughs> and get on the bus and come on down here. They got Greyhound. If the gays can come to Atlanta for Pride by parachute, you can get here. <laughs> you can come here too. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so seven years ago, I just started working with Madison. Actually, I brought Madison onto my podcast, and then she and I started working, and I, she and Kaya started their podcast, the Queen's Court podcast. Well, let's be clear. Kaya had already been doing the Queen's Court way before she and I got together. But when she and I got together, it became a thing. Mm -hmm. It became a mainstream thing. Mm hmm and we reshape popular culture. I'll never take that away. No matter how much that whole Mandy mans and reads me to the ground and all that type of stuff, that don't mean anything for me because, honey, <laughs> I, I'm not going to go in a dark space because there's no need mm -hmm. for me to go in I'm so blessed. Mm -hmm. I'm so blessed. I was so blessed because of our union, and I was even more immensely blessed because of our separation. Mm -hmm. And so I'm not going to go dark. She can stay dark all she chooses. May, again, we wish you healing energy. We wish you abundance, and we wish you whatever you get, okay? <laughs> but I'm good. In the words of Vivica Fox, I'm good. I'm, good. I'm still mad with her about that. Don't do that. <laughs> I'm still mad with her about that. Now, that was a moment for solidarity with black women actresses. We'll talk about it. I'm good. <laughs> and she fucked it up. <laughs> Don't do that. So let's get into it. Let's go ahead, Craig. Let's talk about it. Seven years ago. Seven years ago, and we were right here, but it wasn't it wasn't developed like this. How you got it fixed up now? But we were here, and um, this is when we were actually just starting to use this system, mm -hmm. this system that we use to stream. And so there were still some glitches, right? Mm -hmm. And those punks that she said to keep out of the house, they were working here with us. Don't do that. <laughs> Well, well, that's what she said. Mm -hmm. And so then the, we, had a, we had a glitch that night when Monique was on. 
Yeah, because this this is going to tie us into <laughs> our first topic of the right. Call. Go ahead. And so it started glitching, and it was like a delay. And you know how sometimes when you watch TV shows, and there's somebody is being piped in by satellite, and there's a delay. Well, there were delays that were happening, and I guess Kaya got frustrated. I don't know what happened. I mean, we still don't know to this day what the impetus was for her leaving. I personally think that she used that moment as her reason to go. But I think that there may have been something there. Because I really want to, I really want to piggyback off of, <clears throat> off of Monique when she talked about Will Packer. Oh, I definitely want to get into that because I've always thought he was. <clears throat> you remember when Will Packer was contacting us about the Queen score? Uh huh. And he only contacted and her. And he skipped. No, oh, he he skipped over me as if I was didn't have anything to do with it. Correct. Oh yeah. I can, talk, I can have my Will Packer stories too. Do you think he tips through the tulips? I do. <laughs> my cousin used to date him. Diamond. Uh huh. Oh really? Mm hmm. Oh, am I pouring tea? I'm sorry. <laughs> so when she gave, when Monique said head nigga in charge, it gave very much. So I understand because I've had my experiences in the place of the situation too. And look what he ended up doing with the Queen's Court. He went and gave it, and I love Holly Robinson Pete. I do. <clears throat> and then, but they end up going and taking that name and creating it with Tamar and all this stuff, and they got the Queen's Court dating show. So he had been after that entity that was built for a long period of time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Come on. So we're not going to talk about the impact and the presence of the of the fag <laughs> in our community. So I was very happy at the point when Monique, can we play some of the thing? Let's play some of it. Please. So you just want to get right into I'm like, it. Let's go right into it since we fagged to it. Yes. All right. We don't need to talk about Kaya no more. There's nobody talking about it anyway. So let's go up here. To, uh, <laughs> was it 30? Was it, is this? Yeah. Play this two, oh, two minutes. Two minutes. Okay. And two seconds. Thanks. You know how. And I don't want to put you on a spot, but I'm going to say it. Because <laughs> I appreciate you as a black man and what you're doing. Thank you. If you are my friend mm -hmm. and someone says to me, Monique Shannon Sharp wronged me. And you my friend? Yeah. yeah. I'ma call my friend. You can come to me. And I'ma say, hey, is what they saying true? And if you get to him and Han, I'ma tell you, till you fix it, you and I can't talk. Because if you'll do them that way, you do that. it'll be a matter of time before you do it to me. So if Steve Harvey is your friend, mm -hmm. You call your friend up and you ask him, is what our sister saying right, man? Because if it is, we can't do that to her if that's our sister. See, it took a transgender named T.S. Madison. It was a guy named Jamaica Carter. We, Jamaica Carter and our mutual friend. Jamaica Carter and our friends. Mm -hmm. T.S. Madison was a mutual friend. Mm -hmm. So Jamaica called me and said, would you mind doing T.S. Madison's show? I go do T.S. Madison's show. When I tell T.S. Madison when the camera cuts, I said, listen. Your friend is wrong. She said, Monique Lee Daniels is my friend. I said, then you need to call your friend and tell him to fix this shit. She said, I will. Within a couple of days, who did I get a call from? Lee, Lee Daniels. See, that's a friend. Mm -hmm. That's a true friend that's saying, I love you so much that I want to make sure that's not on your heart or your conscience. Let's fix it. Let's make it right. So when people ask Lee now, when we did the deliverance together, how was it to work with Monique? It was as if we had never parted ways because he fixed it. He owned it and he took accountability for it. I can't now keep you to the cross because you've owned it. Right. I've had to be forgiven. Right. So I appreciate mm -hmm. the, that someone had grace and mercy with me. The reason why the screen is black, we don't want any copyright infringements. <laughs> Hmm. Hello. Because that video does belong to. We don't want any copyright infringements, and if and if we do get some, we will mute that out. <laughs> right. So just imagine what she said. Y'all watch the interview, so y'all know. Now, even with that being said, when she came forth and she said transgender. Do you know that the trans community, some of the trans community, and I'm going to say this in love, Craig, because I understand. Mm -hmm. You ready? Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, this is growth. Watch your sister do growth. Okay. Didn't you? Didn't you just? Didn't you see me display growth just earlier? Absolutely. Watch your sister, because I'm so blessed. Mm -hmm. I, I, I'm so blessed. So there's no reason for me to have any bitterness in my heart. Mm -hmm. 
any malicious conversation. None. I'm too blessed for that. So I'm going to continue that. I understand how we are very much so uh, we walk on eggshells in our community and how mm -hmm. the moment that we as trans people get an opportunity to be seen by people who we have been pleading our case to for the longest that we're human and, and they use terms that they are still learning and it's any other and they say transgender. I saw a lot of the, the, the conversation where the trans community was saying that in those moments that they were the trans, her using the term transgender, dehumanized trans people. She was not talking about trans people, Keisha. She was, <laughs> no, she was talking about me. Right. This was me and Monique's moment. Right. And this was also a moment for her to take the word transgender and throw it back into the faces of a man that identifies as hetero. He identifies as what? He does. Great. <laughs> don't do that. What does he do? A man that identifies. <laughs> Hold on, Craig. No, don't no, take no, me out of the moment. No, 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 is he the same one that's running around with that young boy that was that? Is, is this is this? No, the same? we're not doing that. So let's leave that there. If these are your feelings. Oh, okay. This man, I, you know, I did communication is our partner. Clarity, just leave it there. If these are your feelings. Communication is our partner. Out. Clarity is our friend. Do not take from this moment. Okay, go ahead. This man identifies. <laughs> he is a, he identifies as a heterosexual man a heterosexual man, and he's a part of the heterosexual community. And she sat there, in, no, Craig, don't do this, and it's okay. important that I say. Uh -huh. And she sat there across from that man, in that man's face, and she actually took what they say about us, and she made them think. It took a transgender when my own community turned their back on me to stand in the gap for me. And she continued and followed up a transgender by the name of T.S. Madison. And after she said that, she continually addressed me by my pronouns. She and her. Let's be clear here. She continued to affirm me by my pronouns. She, her, and hers and used my friend. So the outrage that the trans community got from that one statement and, and look completely over her affirming right behind that, I need y'all to, in the words of Miss Sophia, calm down. I need for y'all to calm down. Calm down. Okay? Because when she was speaking, she was talking about me. Me. If you took it from the context of her speaking about the community, look at the entirety of the situation, how she returned back and affirmed me. Because she could have easily sat there in that conversation with that man and said he and him and it and that. And that man could have said he and him and she could have. Right on, they could have had a whole conversation in it. Or she could have just simply said, a mutual friend of mine and Lee's connected us. She didn't even have to say T.S. No, Madison. I like, right, she could have just, That's she could have omitted me, all That's of me. that. Yep. She could have completely omitted me and everything. I like the fact, Craig, Mo, can we tap Miss Mary on her shoulder up there? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like the fact of the matter that she pointed that out because remember the whole debacle when everybody was like 50 cent did this and the other and acted as if I had no part or I had no no hand or I had no part or no nothing how the blogs posted all that oh my god thank you 50 cent mm -hmm. like they didn't watch my motherfucking interview how they how they politely skipped over me how they did all the things and that woman sat on that show while 186,000 people were watching live and stated what happened and how it transpired. 
So please, trans community, this was not your moment. This was not your moment. This was not your moment. I diligently do work in the community. Black, brown, trans, and LBGT community. I diligently do work. Diligently. And yet, I, yet no one speaks of it. Because I'm trans. So therefore, when she says it took a transgender, I was all right with it. Because I understood it. There are times for us to be advocates and there are times for us to stand back and be like, bitch, yes. I'm not Laverne. I'm not Amaya. I'm not Hope. I'm not Angelica Ross. I'm not India Moore. I'm not any of those people, bitch. I am T.S. motherfucking Madison, bitch. The loud lives and colors of them all. And I say that with conviction, bitch. A.W. the Duchess of all Russia. <laughs> of all. They may not get out there because you don't... You, they get in the pink their way. I get in the mud, mine. And bitch... What y'all not going to do is sit over there and act as if I am I am invisible or or I'm trans or I'm just some minuscule piece of the puzzle. We're not doing that. So when the woman did that, I was all right with it. Now, the only thing that really made me tap a hoe on their shoulder was when this OnlyFans trans girl jumped up. And I'm not. I, and here's the thing. I'm not reading her because she's an OnlyFans girl. I'm not. What I'm reading her is because, bitch, you're doing all my leftover shit. And you have the audacity. The unmitigated The gall. unmitigated motherfucking gall to speak about scraps when you are doing all my leftover shit. Show the footage, please. <laughs> that girl said, I'm realizing that every queer celebrity be straight up wanting us to be grateful for scraps. T.S. Madison, Flame Monroe, RuPaul, so on and so forth. Y'all be blowing me, blowing me. Y'all don't even live regular lives. What the fuck do y'all be talking about? And I put grateful for scraps. Me, sweetheart, quiet as it's kept, you are doing all my leftover shit. And I'm still 10 toes down out here carving a path for you and yours when you decide that you want to change directions that you want to go in. Hashtag be blessed, beloved niece. Beloved who? Beloved niece. <laughs> <laughs> now she wrote an entire think piece after that that I didn't pay an any entire what? think piece that I didn't pay any attention. <laughs> but then she wrote little, little small paragraphs talking about how I don't say anything because I'm not Amaya, you know. So, it, so I understand her representation. Amaya represents the beauty, beauty, the, the, the extreme, you know, unorthodox beauty of the community and everybody wants to be pretty trans and this and the other. And I understand and that's great. But what we are not going to do as trans people is minimal, minimalize my presence or impact in our community. We're not finna do that. When it's be time to be on the front line, bitch, I seen a motherfucking whole right. Why does T.S. Madison be the only one? Because I ain't motherfucking scared, bitch. That's why. So I understand the reason why she was going to, because she didn't see, I'm not her version of representation. But ma'am, when you really look at the grand scheme of things, again, let me point back to you. You're in a lane that I carved for you. Let's be totally clear. You're in a lane that I carved for you. So you are doing all my leftover shit. And not only are you doing all my leftover shit, you would want to hope that you, you rise to be a fragment of what I was in that industry. But uh, Daddy, even though she's not, even though you're not her type of representation, it, I still don't think it's right though. Because just because somebody isn't your cup of tea doesn't mean the work that they're doing is should be minimized or should be well that's why and that's why i'm not minimalizing her presence on only fans she may have a nice she might be a wallpaper she might be an icon on somebody's telephone as a screensaver for some man that wants to suck her cock or wants to fuck her in her cornhole 
or, <laughs> or fly her around the United States or out of the country to fuck her. Well, she is not the icon living that is T.S. Madison. Let us be totally clear on that. And we appreciate her presence and her contributions <laughs> to the OnlyFans community. And I'm not shaming the OnlyFans community, but bitch, that was that is the time after me. Those are those are pebbles and cobblestones <laughs> that I put on the ground for the girls to tread after me. And that is no tea and no shade. Those are facts. You can go to Google right now and type in big dick bitch. Those are words that belong to the world. Big dick bitch and I will pop up. I haven't done adult films, bitch, in over a decade. And I, st I will still pop up off of those three words. Not even .com, not .org, not .edu, not .anything. Big dick bitch and I will pop up. Ma'am, let's hope that the legacy that you're building by getting your dick sucked brings you to that level to speak about scraps. We are not the same. You couldn't shame me by my weight. You couldn't shame me by my height. You couldn't shame me by my beauty. We are not the same. And don't you ever let any trick fool you into thinking that we are. You are a daughter. And I use daughter loosely. Now let us return, Craig. Let's give us. <laughs> I could have went down a dark path terrorizing that girl. Girl, I don't see no light down that path. <laughs> I don't see any light down that path. I forgot I was sitting here. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Now, what were we there's a difference about? between an icon. <laughs> there's a difference between it being an icon in the world, an icon in ballroom, and an icon on a motherfucking screensaver, bitch. <laughs> know your levels. <laughs> but I love that Monique interview. <laughs> and and see the way that I saw it, and it's all about experience too, right? Like what your life experiences are. I'm not a trans person, so I saw and heard. It differently, you know, and like when we talked about this on the phone the other day, mm -hmm. I feel like Monique mentioned transgender just to I think I think the subtext in that sentence was and see, it took a trans person, which most of the world usually tries to push to the side. It took a trans person to bring us together, me and Lee Daniels to bring us together. You know what I'm saying? I think that's the way she was using it. Yeah. But I think sometimes we're so politically correct that we just fight and scream about anything like in the times that we need to be speaking up and out and raising hell we're quiet and then the times that we you know need to fucking be quiet we out here raising hell right but i love that interview yeah. and, and let me tell you something about monique that bitch is from Baltimore. Come on. And you know I'm from Baltimore. Come on, Baltimore. And we don't know other way no no other way to be other than straight up. And when that lady got over there on that couch and was naming names. First of all, I think what happens is because she's been on this on this journey for a few years now, there are a lot of people that are numb to it and there are a lot of people who are exhausted with hearing about it. But I think when that lady sat down, sat down on that couch, she really cleared a lot of things up. And I believe what she said. I do. I think it was fucked up. That Kevin Hart never gave that lady a call back. Now, I think it was admirable that he cut her that check. Two things can be right at the same time. That's right. Come on. Now, when she sent that money back with interest, that was some Baltimore shit. Because mm -hmm. what you're not going to do is ever say, I owe you. <laughs> Craig. Craig, come on. Uh -huh. Who else holds those? Who, owe, who else holds Oh, those? that's you. <laughs> Would you like to speak from experience? Don't roll your eyes, Baltimore bitch. <laughs> you Baltimore bitch, don't owe your don't roll your eyes. I'm very much so like this. Even when Gio went on his tangent, I'm calling names today, bitch, because it, it's a new season. Yeah, and I have no ill in my heart towards nobody. Mm -hmm. Even when Giovanni went on his tangent, my house was dirty, my this and that, like all the things, right? AIDS pills in the pocketbook and all this type of shit. When he was asked, 
where you owed anything, right? Mm -hmm. The answer was no. Because one thing about me, bitch, if we have discrepancies with us with each other, you may not know, but you'll be you will receive a check where you're paid in full, and you may not never hear from me again. <laughs> uh -huh. You'll receive a check. You'll receive a balance clearing. You'll receive a zail, and you'll never hear from me again. Yeah, because what you will not say is that I owe you anything. You can attack my character. You can attack my reputation, bitch, but I will never owe you nothing. Mm -hmm. You'll never be standing on the top of a hill talking about I owe you. <laughs> standing where, girl? On the top of a motherfucking hill <laughs> saying that I owe you anything. You're right. There were more things that you told me about that interview you wanted to talk about. Let's go. Yeah, so I thought it was, I, I thought it was really brave of her. You know what I mean? Like when she was talking about the fact that, I, like when you naming names like that, like first of all, you can't be that exact and remember details to the way that, in the way that she was remembering details and naming names and saying, well, you know, because this person, I reached out to that person. Like you got to understand that there's some truth there. And I think, and my point is, I think there are a lot of people who, feel like they're frustrated with hearing about it. And they like, oh, girl, just move on, da 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 But also there's that part of some, he, Tyler Perry is some people's heroes. Oprah is some people's heroes. And so they don't want to believe that they would have done X, Y, and Z, right? Now, moving on from that with the whole Will Packer thing, when she said that those trailers got blown up. And she said she was posting it, and I called her. That same day, and we had a long talk. Mm -hmm. she, she thanked me again and again and again. And I thanked her for being my sister. And um, she, I said, bitch, you told him about the motherfucking trailer. She said, bitch, and I'm finna post them. Just give me a second. She said, I'm gonna call you right back. Okay. <laughs> and when she, and listen, and, and, and my thing is, I'm telling you, and I know that there are a lot of real people in other places of the world, but when that bitch said she was gonna post, I said, that bitch got them receipts. That's a Baltimore bitch. I've been supporting that lady since she had that comedy club in Baltimore. Monique's Comedy Club down on Liberty Street. And when she said she was going out to Hollywood to get a TV show, like she said on that on that couch, it was like two months, three, two or three months later, and she had a TV show. You know, but I just feel like, and I love Oprah. Come I on. love, I love my girl Oprah. Come on, let's go. Let's I want to hear how torn in between these things you are. No, I ain't torn. <laughs> I, I, that's Latoya Luckett. I'm not torn. <laughs> I, I'm not torn at all. I think Oprah fucked up in this instance. You understand what I'm saying? Because people can still be your hero. You can still... Now, I don't give a damn about Tyler. But you can still love people and, and, and hold people up and think that they're amazing. And like Oprah has done more good in the world, I believe, than she has done bad. And I know some of y'all are a little conflicted because you think she was friends with Harvey Weinstein and this, that, and that. I don't know about none of that. All I know is that lady has been better to the world than she has been bad to the world, right? But I think that this is an instance where she may be challenged with being honest and facing her ego because we all got ego. We do because I definitely have one. Oh, yeah, we know. Be careful, punk. <laughs> and, and sometimes you got to be able to say, look here, bitch. But you've also seen me in, in my ego come back and apologize. Come back. You, right. You've seen me in my ego. Correct. Come Correct. back and apologize. People make mistakes. And I think that, I think for Oprah to come forward now after all of these years and say, you know what? We, we could have done things differently. I think it, it, it would take a really big person to be able to do that. And as evolved as she is and Can all of that. Say that over there for me, please. Uh, I'm sure. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> as, as, evolved, as evolved. Don't let it fall on the floor. Sit it right there. As, as evolved as she <laughs> is. I'll, just, I'll sit it over here. <laughs> as evolved as she is, I believe that it's just too big of a, a pill for her to just come forward now and just be like, you know what? Yeah, we could have done this differently. But I think that it's. Uh, you really think it's too late? I don't, I'm not saying I think it's too late. I just think it's. 
we're too far down the road for Oprah to ever apologize. I don't think that's ever going to happen. I think that if, if, if Monique is saying she's she lost about $22, $24 million over the years, she won't get back. Tyler and Oprah can split that. That's 12 and 12. Where I come from, that's 12 and 12. Well, we all come from 12 and 12 makes 24. <laughs> that's right. That's like two trades that I like. Right. Oh, Lord. Now, 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 oh, now. Yeah. Right, Tasha. Now, I've been, I, I've been warning y'all about that Tyler Perry, but see, y'all didn't want to hear that from me. <laughs> Y'all thought I was just hating. Craig Tyler Perry has done some great things as well. Let's not do that. Yeah, he ha he has, but I wonder. Craig bias. I, I I wonder if <laughs> some of the great things he's done have been an act of contrition. Wait a minute. This is a new word, Alexa. What is contrition? Maybe she doesn't know. <laughs> So, so girl, wait a minute before you even be, before, uh -huh. we, before we continue, girl, that HSBCU degree got you together. <laughs> girl, you went down there, girl, that motherfucking debt you in for that student loan. No, no, I, I'm not in any, any, any debt. Those people, those people gave me all forty three thousand of my dollars. Wait back. a minute, and you use that degree to get that to get out of debt too? Look at you. Maybe I should have went to college, but I didn't. <laughs> but I still own a $1.2 million home and a $650,000 home. That's right. And a $200,000 car and a lot of assets. Right. I still do. Wow. But <laughs> I think, I think sometimes, I think sometimes Look when, at a, God. when a person does something that they, they feel regretful about or remorse, like she just said, then they come back around and they do some good mm -hmm. to try to balance it out, to try to atone it. And it's just like, you know, and I, I think he does great things. Like right now, he's doing some stuff down here in Atlanta where he's paying back taxes for black seniors. That's great. But if there's any truth to what's happening with him and that Christian Keys, there's that balance. And like, Mon and like Monique said, he gave T.D. Jakes a million dollars. Now, I didn't sat in churches before where he didn't wrote checks. What about Creflo Dollar? He used to give money over there to um, New Beginning. Rest in peace, James Morton. He used to give money. I used to sit right in that same church. But Craig, like, in going back to where you say, like, when if you Ooh, do something wrong, Instagram saying it's a tax write off. Uh, hello, maybe y'all Instagram girls is tearing it up. I mean, down here. well, for church, it usually is though. For church, those stuff like that usually. Y'all like fag talk? If you like fag talk, put a two in the conversation down there. Because we already got one from Miss Mary's food truck. If you like fag talk, please put a two down there. That's fag with a P. P-H-A-G. Petty. Because we got to move. We got to move from popular. Petty hot ass gossipers. Petty hot ass gossipers. And also popular hot ass gossipers. Honey, we're fags. <laughs> <laughs> Right, Mo, you're an honorary fag because you work out over there. Association, politely, right? <laughs> Great. Listen, the people already was in the comments saying that you feel some type of way about Mo. Don't. No, I do not. Don't I don't know why the, they say that. Don't come in my establishment treating my heterosexual identified gentleman a certain way. Don't do that. I'm I, listen. That's I, the problem with you fags now. I don't understand. <laughs> Y'all always, and I'm talking about fags, not phags. <laughs> Listen, I'm talking about some UFA. I don't have any issue with Mo, and Mo don't have no issue with me. <laughs> you, that's, you, that's just y'all. You, you fruity ass guys. <laughs> I'm talking about some you fruity ass guys. The FAGs, okay? Not the popular hot ass gossip. Right. Not what Mo can be. You feel <laughs> <laughs> Not that type of fag. This type of fag right here. <laughs> How you doing? Me and Craig are good. Me and Craig good. Thank you. I don't know me why they be trying good. to read and look for stuff. That's just like they swear we didn't fell out before. Oh, honey, listen, and guess what? We love to play on y'all intelligence the, <laughs> <laughs> because the messages that you send to him, he shows me. <laughs> and the messages y'all send me, I show him. Please believe. Please believe. <laughs> that Craig is an opportunist. All he do is come over there. <laughs> and then he, she always over there throwing jabs at you. She don't really like it. We, be, Why? we sit there. Why? And she, she always trying to say she bought your house. Listen, let me tell you. I did. But <laughs> here's the thing. <laughs> well, girl, what am I getting paid for today? 
absolutely nothing. <laughs> 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 absolutely nothing i just want you to know that but i just thought it was a great interview i, I really do so we're really not going to talk about how shannon sharp is now friends with that boy that was running around with carrie rhodes no craig because i'm, I'm i feel a certain type of way about it and i tell you why i feel a certain type of way about it i talked about this on fox soul when i was there a week, a week ago a, two weeks ago i said on the show now, whatever has happened with the the other guy, what's what's the, what's what's the, 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 the guy? The stylist. The stylist. I don't remember whatever his name. whatever past he has with whoever. Carrie Rhodes. Carrie Rhodes. That's there. I want us to normalize <laughs> heterosexual men, homosexual men, and trans people being friends with each other. I want us to normalize. I agree. I, so, Craig, I'm not going to sit up here and, and actually dig into sensationalizing that because I want to normalize. Heterosexual identified men, transgender women, transgender people, and gay men being friends. I want to. I want to normal. I agree. Up. Now, all that other rumor type shit is. I don't. You know, that's the messy part of us that we can't d- divulge it. But from the top, I want to normalize that because here's the reason why I want to normalize that because we we get into instances where people really want to be our friends. They really want to be our colleagues. They really want to be the same, but they they're stuck in the in the in the space of people saying you are around those fags. I can't deal with you. You around those fags. I don't y'all. You're gay, and you already have men. Uh, hold on, I have a I have hold a on. Word. No, because you're, you're it's, it's right here at the precipice. It, 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 it is. It, it, it is. It's at the precipice. It is. It is. And it I don't is. have an HSBC. <laughs> Precipice, okay. <laughs> okay, well, I need to say this, mm-hmm. but it already puts a bad taste in the mouth, and it already it already alienates us. What does from it do, girl? Alienates us. Uh-huh. Alienates uh-huh. us <laughs> from having relationships, from having business relationships, from having even personal, personal relationships, relationships yeah. because people in there, there's a stigma attached to us being sexually, you know inclined with each other however there are instances where there is sex going on and there is sexual things that are involved and you have to guise it under the guise of being a stylist or being other things you have to guise it under there in order for society to really look at it at at, at that aspect so that things aren't stripped away from you come on craig don't, don't do this I'm listening. Don't do this. I'm processing what you're saying. Like, yeah, well, don't how, do this. how much you want me to sit here? I want you to <laughs> sit here and I want you to gather this thing. I'm listening to what you're saying. Because you have heterosexual friends. I do. And you know, some maybe your friend, what if your heterosexual friend was a bit hesitant on what happened to Instagram? Are they over? Where did it go? Oh, no, it's behind there. Where are you going to touch my computer, girl? <laughs> right there. So is it still there? Yeah. Okay. So what about heterosexual what about your heterosexual friends and then and them being hesitant on being your friend or being being or sharing personal spaces or or, or, or spaces with you in the same instance of Dr. Martin Luther King and, and Bay arrested? In the same instance, now come on, Craig, if you can look at it from that instance, how that was a strain on their relationship that they were good friends. Okay, he might have sucked the dick. I don't know. <laughs> He might have, but the both of them are dead. Unless there's proof. They're both dead. Because Martin Luther King does have many illegitimate children. So they're not above being men. And I always say, if a man did get hard, things could happen. But this is not this case. I'm just making a point. On, I'm being devil's advocate over here. <clears throat> And in my devil's advocacy, I have lots of straight friends that are men. But I always put a disclaimer out to those men. If the dick fall out, I'm picking it up. Think that little stylist and at them NBA games with Shannon Sharp hoping his dick will fall out so he can oh. also pick it up. Oh my God. Then listen, let me just say this. I don't, I don't know what's going on with Shannon Sharp. I, mean, I, put, this, I put the disclaimer out. Oh my I don't God. know what's going on with Shannon Sharp and that little lady. That's, oh, wait a minute. That, 
Instagram oh, Dictionary. Instagram, just, oh, Instagram after, is after gone. what you just said. <laughs> Listen, you want me to wait until you reconnect? <laughs> hold on, let me, let me reconnect Instagram. <laughs> hold on, I'm going to hold my thoughts. Give us a moment. So she reconnect Instagram. I'm streaming. I need to get this shit together so Instagram don't keep dropping off. Really? They fucking up the class. Up? They fucking up the class. Instagram is fucking up the class. Give us a moment. Hold on. Don't forget to get your tickets from out. uh for Fag Talk and the Morning Show. You know, while I reconnect, please put the bonus, the, the Fag Talk and the perfume. Oh put the God. perfume and things up there. Let me okay. let me actually post this for Instagram. All right. Oh my God. I mean, oh I'm being God. honest. You can only be honest, bitch. Oh my. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Craig, would you do do you want to do the honors of, of naming it naming it a thing over here while while I set it up over here? Naming what a thing. All right, we gotta do right here. We gotta put done. Uh oh and we gotta put uh let's put a nice thing of us. Okay, you know, it's already it's already <laughs> <laughs> yes, everybody, get your get your bottle of everything. <laughs> okay, so let's do that. And let's put 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 you know at fag talk uh pre-gaming today. We're coming to and let me set, let me reset Instagram up. Hold on. Don't forget to um follow our fag talk Instagram too. P H A G T A W L K. No, I'm not. I'm honest. Don't do that. <laughs> All right, let me remove. Let me remove Instagram from this. Yeah, and then Craig, hurry up! You have a you have a degree. You should be moving quicker than uh, this. So let me add. If let me add Instagram. Let me go back and get this the streaming. So y'all gotta do better than this stream, y'all. That's what I'm trying to tell you, girl. Y'all, y'all. That hour thing ain't working. Cause this ain't this ain't nice. That's annoying. It is annoying. Let me go over here because we want we definitely want uh we, we definitely want um, I know they over there scrambling on Instagram. Trying to get over <laughs> here to the thing. Yeah. Meanwhile, we didn't stop talking just so we can set them back. We can gather this, gather it up for them. Hold on. That's Bye love right you. there. All right. That's back love. talk part two. Thank you for Man, your patience, you ladies ask, and gentlemen. You ask it has has uh Shannon unblocked you yet? No. <laughs> I don't know why I was blocked in the first place. It could have been the faggy, but I don't. <laughs> <laughs> it could have been. Uh, okay, so we're gonna do this public. Craig, do, do you hate doing this? I don't fool with Instagram on, when I live stream. I just can't. I can't do listen, it. Listen, you. I've I've taught you a lot, Craig. I know you say to be everywhere. You have to be. Listen, you have to be in every every everything and everywhere. Yeah, right, you have to. Hold on, I'm about to post it in here. Okay. Wait. Where did I paste it? I don't know what you just did. Okay. No. Okay, you're back. Hold on. You just gotta go live now. I put it in there, or well, now I have to go live. Hold on. <laughs> Mo, will you be chopping this up and um, putting yes. this for the for the viewers out there in pieces and fragments? Yes, I Thank will. Thank you. You're you hit go live. I'm about to Let's see if it works. Oh, there we go. We're back. All right, Instagram for you specifically. We're back, but for everybody else, we've been here. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay. Okay. So Instagram, we waited for you all to get reconnected. So I need y'all to get in here and get engaged. Right. And y'all and, and, and stream yard, y'all need to have Instagram's comments here where I can see all, all in all here. Right. Like, y'all got a lot of updating to do, girl. Get y'all software, get your iOS services together. Whew. Or that may be operating off an Android system. I don't know. <laughs> that I sure sounds good. It's really good. <laughs> really good. Um, okay, so now listen, I, I agree with you. I do think that we do we need to remove that divide between gay men and black gay men or gay men and straight men, right? Mm -hmm. So I do believe in that. And I have straight male friends that I definitely don't want to put so them you in haven't put a disclaimer if they pay us so now you're gonna eat the ass. No, because you know how I feel about straight men with their ass, they don't really clean their ass well. 
I feel the same way about them too, but I've but I've seen you look at asses and say that you'd eat them. Oh, I'm gonna love. And I may even finger. No. <laughs> no, you won't do that over here at this house. <laughs> but but you know, them straight niggas don't they, they only believe in wiping their ass good. They don't want to wash it. That is true. When they get up from the, from having a bowel movement, they're yeah. not. Can we can we start putting like? That is true. So, uh, 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 listen, Mo, for, for you men that don't want to wash your ass, try everything. <laughs> <laughs> Mo, do you go into the cavity and no, girl? I'll I got all this is the, this will enhance. I wash. Is it gonna thoroughly? No, I want to know. Do you go in the cavity, I or do you it. just pass by? No, I wash. I wash. Let's. I wash thoroughly. Let, let me put. It like see, that. some of you niggas be talking about. I oh no, I'm not thoroughly. about to put my finger. No, you need to take that rag, put around your finger, preferably the middle one, because that's your longest finger. The same way, and go you, around the rim. Listen, it's some of these bitches too. The same way that they have the confidence to be talking about how I'm a man, how the and the confidence in which you speak about me being a man, and I'll never be a. I'll never be this and the other. I be want y'all to take a clean white towel. And go in betwixt your ass crack from front to back or back to front with that same company when y'all be reading me. <laughs> and some of you motherfucking hoes need to take that same rank and wipe around those rings around your neck, bitch. <laughs> Especially that Michelin tire man over there sitting in that shoe closet, bitch. That that had the audacity. I'm not, I'm gonna leave it alone. Miss Mary told me don't do it. <clears throat> I don't know whether or not Shannon Sharp tips through the tools or not. Yeah, it don't have nothing to do with me. But what I'm saying is that young man that he had at that basketball game the other day definitely has some sort of a relationship with Kerry Rhodes. Well, now, I did see the photographs from that, but we're not talking about Kerry Rhodes here. We're talking about Shannon Sharp. Shannon Sharp. And I want to dispel, you know, the things surrounding gay men, mm -hmm. trans women, mm -hmm. heterosexual men having plutonic friendships. I want to dispel any of the right. negativity around that because it's awful. Like you right. can't, I, I can't even have a friend. Like, listen, I've been, I, I have cousins who people didn't know that we were cousins that people were rushing to tell them, you know, that's a man. Right. You know, that's a right. man. And it's like, right. oh, really? And then yeah. they'll grab me and be like, really? Uh -huh. And I'm like, that's what you get, bitch. Mind your motherfucking business. Mind your motherfucking business, bitch. And then you wouldn't have to be shitted in the face. That's the word you wanted to use. Yes. Because <laughs> they be looking like shit in the face. You so quick to act like that we don't have brothers. We don't have cut. We don't have people that really truly love us and stand 10 toes in the paint for us. Because mm -hmm. I get threatened a lot by people. And I be like, bitch, all I can, all I have to do is whistle. And a real nigga will bulldoze your home. Mm -hmm. So don't get it twisted like I'm out here in the world because you watch some documentary of some white trans girl over there crying about, honey, oh my God, my family left me in the bushes. Nah, bitch, you gonna get found in the bushes if you come fucking with me. So, bitch, you know, I want to make sure that we chop that kind of shit up. I get, I get tired, tired of that type of shit. When I called James Wright Chanel the day after that girl punched him in his face, and I and James told me, bitch, that his people was ready to motherfucking molly wop, whoop, 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 because my sister, Miss James Wright, is a fill is de is highly is blessed, highly favored, and loved, and definitely affiliated in those LA streets out there. Mm -hmm. And that strong nigga bitch hit him in in his motherfucking <laughs> that who that strong nigga bitch. <laughs> Hit him in his motherfucking mouth. And he had to have restraint because she is a woman. Yeah. And he had to have restraint. But, bitch, when I went out there in L.A., because that shit happened around that when I went out there to do the Renaissance mm -hmm. thing with Beyonce um, for the Renaissance film. And, and all my girlfriends that were in L.A. were telling me they would wait. They want to whoop her. My my real girl, my bio women girlfriends were telling me that they want to whoop and stomp her. <clears throat> so do not sit up here and think that because we are faggotrons, <laughs> faggies, homosexuals, 
and all types of things in between that we don't got peoples that's motherfucking on the front line, bitch, ready for war with a motherfucking set of people that be screaming out faggy, faggy, faggy. And so that's why I'm I'm really sad. Now, I don't know what's going on personally in between motherfucking in between the sheets with those. I don't know that. But on the surface, I want to attack what's on the surface. And what I'm attacking on the surface is the ability for them to be friends. Now, he may have put the disclaimer out that if the dick fall out, he may suck it. And the dick may have fallen out a time or two. Who knows? That's not our business. It's not. It's not our business. <laughs> We're not ready to have a full conversation or a full thing. Miss, let me tell you something. Netta and Miss Charles are breaking down the berries. Hold on. Mm -hmm. Because no, 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 it's Miss Netta and Charles. Miss Netta and Charles. You said Netta and Miss Charles. Well, Miss, what, <laughs> Miss Netta and Charles. You didn't put them in a whole less material so relationship. <laughs> they breaking down barriers because Charles presents as a heterosexual man. He presents. He presents, Greg. Oh, I see. I hear what you're saying. <laughs> now we just found out that Miss Netta. Well, they just found out that Miss Netta is a part of the Labiquita community. Now, where did she say she didn't say she didn't she say fought? she didn't say what letter, what number, what phrase, or whatever? But she says I'm Miss Netta, and yes, I am a part of the Labiquita community. So we don't get opportunities as people of color to see relationships be in our community from female presenting and straight men presented we don't get we don't see lots of that in our community we usually get to see that in our community of one of us dating a white man one of us come on Chris, stop that what i have not done anything stop it. what have i done <laughs> I, i'm up here listening i'm waiting for my turn come on in <laughs> <laughs> I don't even want to talk about Miss Natter. I'm not talking. I'm just talking about this whole the rep. The you know what I'm talking about. You know I'm speaking facts for sure. No, and like I feel like okay. So if we're gonna stay, if we're gonna talk about that, I feel like there needs to be representation. Like when we think about the Cosby Show, for example, the Cosby Show really retrained a lot of us to understand and, and be comfortable seeing black professionals, black educated people, and black middle class to upper class people watching on TV. Prior to the Cosby show, all we had was good times. And them niggas was poor. Then we had the Jeffersons, but he wasn't educated. He was an entrepreneur. Wheezy stayed at home, which was nice, but he just was an entrepreneur who happened to make it. He wasn't like educated and that kind of thing. So that was a step. But when you look at television now, when you look at black programming now, you only see black folks being represented most of the time as middle class or upper class. Let them motherfuckers put a TV show on there now where black people living like they lived in, on good times. Okay. I want to bring this back around to me because this is my show so I can do that. <laughs> kind of like when y'all been screaming out how I'm how I'm broke and this and the other, whatever, and then you see me gathering things and, and, and like a bitch was sitting on their live trying to devalue that I bought my home. It had to be foreclosure. There's no way that I paid $1.2 million. Like I'm a trainer. I don't have things. And it's like, so you mean to tell me clearly you don't see me out here in the world working? You think Beyonce didn't pay me? You think that I'm not getting a residual for Beyonce? You think that all the things that I'm tied to, I'm not getting a residual for that? Who You let this punk with those blue contacts tell y'all that I was broke seven years ago. <laughs> and girl, y'all sit up here and y'all continuously holding that. Now, I'm not screaming out to, to, about, my, about trying to make you believe that I'm wealthy. I'm just letting you girls know that this is why I do the things to for representation because we don't get an opportunity to see a lot of black trans women thrive in their in their coinage. We don't. We see Laverne. Laverne tears it up. Laverne is always on the carpet. Laverne. Laverne wears uh, sickening labels and all that. But we don't see Laverne. Does Laverne is private? I'm not private when it comes to it because I want my girls to know, bitch. If I'm if I'm a multi coin girl, you can be there too, especially coming from prost prostitution. You know what I'm saying? Or, or, or when I was a prostitute, I did. That's what I did. The, this is the first thing that I did. Let those girls know, bitch. The first thing I'm doing with this prostitution money is getting me a motherfucking house. Now I'm not in that. And so now my wealth is turning a different way. Your what, girl? My wealth. 
<laughs> has turned into a different way. And I'm, I've surrounded myself by other wealthy people like my manager, Legra, who is also helping me build wealth in a different in a different space. How we working to build wealth with each other. Mm -hmm. We talk, we you call me on the phone and we talk about wealth building on a, on an every other day basis. Yeah. So, you know, it's when we show these things, we letting it be known. This representation does matter because if I'm looking around, I don't see no girls like me. And a lot of girls are very much so in the space of holding it down, of, of being in places. And then you see them pop up saying, well, I was getting a six cent check from, from SAG-AFTRA. Billy Porter. Right. Or I'm about to lose my house. Or, no, he I'm lost about, his. He did? Oh, that's so sad. I'm about to lose this. I'm about to this and I'm about to that. And then you see them all the place. I'm not that girl. Bitch, when I, bitch I knew how to take dick sucking money, bitch, and make it and scratch it for me. Listen, I came from a place where my mother knew how to make a dollar out of 15 cents. Yes, I am frugal. Broke and frugal are two different things, bitch. I'm extremely frugal, bitch, and I'll, I'll stand on the mountaintop and let you know, bitch, that that's the way I am. Where I splurge at is where, where I can see it. My home, mm -hmm. my comfort, and all that. I don't. I will take a... Bitch, that's why I shop for clothes that are stretch pieces that, that, put, that I can put on my body. Because once it comes off, it's on the floor. What are they, girl? Stretch pieces that fit. <laughs> once it comes off, it's on the floor. All oh, that lycra and spandex. I don't give a fuck about that shit. <laughs> I don't care anything about no garments like that. <laughs> that don't mean a motherfucking thing to me. That's why when I pull up anywhere and everywhere I want to pull up at, bitch, my credit is good, bitch. They're going to give it to me. That thing is going to say, Burp, and I will be out of a car. Mm-hmm. You know, mm -hmm. that's why, because I'm frugal. I'm not frugal because of, I'm poor or I'm broke. I'm frugal because, bitch, I used to be a prostitute <laughs> and I knew how to balance five niggas a week. I'm not frugal because I'm poor, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> oh, my God. That's just the way I feel. So representation does matter. And we don't get an opportunity to see a lot of straight men with gay men. Or we don't get an opportunity to see a lot of trans women with... And then we don't see a lot of black trans women with black men in relationships in the public. And immediately mm -hmm. when that happens, all of a sudden, oh God, he's gay. Or oh, he's this and the other. Because we worried about the sexual aspect of it. I don't give a fuck what Shannon Sharp and his stylist is doing. They don't got nothing to do with me. What I want to stop and us fags included, P-H-A-G's, and the fruity ass guys, I wanted to stop constantly spinning that around in the washing machine like, mm, girl, they doing that. Okay, okay, what if they are? But they, they have a relationship. They have an open relationship in the public. So what? They're friends. He has a job. All right. That's, that's, my, that's, that's my piece. Well, who else we talking about? Omar Beckham. I mean, Odell. <laughs> Odell Beckham. Well, let's talk about this voodoo pussy. Let's go up here. All right. Come on. I know something here, right? And I'm going to say this from the top of my chest to the bottom of my stomach, okay? I don't really have a lot to say because I got a used pussy. My <laughs> pussy more so is a used pussy, used ass, used cock. I am I am a used automobile. <laughs> oh, Buick. I'm not, no, I'm not a Buick. <laughs> Oldsmobile. No, honey, I am a Cadillac. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm a Cadillac. I'm a used Cadillac. She is a used Bentley. Okay. There are a lot of girls out there that are used <laughs> Kia's. That really be out here having their 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 just say over this woman and 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 whatever you know what I'm saying she's always made her pussy make it work for her her pussy has been the thing that has made it work for her her pussy has gotten her the brand deals her pussy has gotten her television shows her pussy has gotten her these things and her pussy has gotten these high class men but who's to say that she's fucking all of these people just because we see her with them I'm gonna play devil's advocate just like. Just because Shannon Sharp is with that little boy doesn't mean, or the stylist, I don't want to say little boy, with the stylist doesn't mean that they're doing anything. 
just because we see Kim K with different people doesn't mean she's fucking all of these people. Well, we've seen Kim K fuck. She likes black dick. And we've seen a black dick go in and out of her. I sat there myself on the side of my bed and I've watched black penis go in and out of her. <laughs> You've only seen Ray J's. I watched, well, it, it was enough for but, me to know that black did, penis is winning in and out of her outer well, box. we can say majority of the guys we've seen her with, they've admittedly been in a relationship. They have been busting her box down. Yeah. We've I've seen the it Pete, go in Pete and out of Dav her. the Pete Davidson. They were they were. Well, happy. Pete Davidson is not black. Don't get it. He is me. not. What is he? He ain't black. Hold on, Hold on. Look at Look at him. 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 Look So, he, so Pete Davidson. But we kid. just read you in the way we couldn't even speak outside. Right. So he. So what? So I'm asking. I just asked. What is he? What? What? Like, what do he look like? There, there are black people that look like that, that, look like, that are mixed. That look like. So you telling me you've never seen a black person that that's mixed, black and white? If you said Trevor Noah, yes, that nigga don't look nothing like Trevor Noah at all. I said I didn't. Trevor know. Noah's father is white. I just said I didn't know. I was asking, what is Mo, he? Mo, you love to disrupt our show. I just, really said, I just said, what is he? What? Me? <laughs> hey, that's all. Oh, he's Jewish. Okay, simple. You think they ain't, you think they ain't some black Jews in the world? You said what? You think they ain't no black Jews? Ain't you from Africa, nigga? You know, Nigerians are Jews. Okay, but you ain't in Nigeria. There's some black Jews in the world. Yeah, I didn't say there wasn't. Right, but you said, oh, he's Jewish, which means like it's as if to say he no, got to be white because he's Jewish. No, I'm saying what 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 is he? That's a cracker. <laughs> I just I just I'm doing my before we jump my before he, we jump you. He, let me fight this punk by myself. Didn't I tell you about coming over here to my motherfucking establishment doing that shit? <laughs> Don't break that shit over here, ho. <laughs> I done told you. I don't know he was that fucking shit. This thing in here talking like he albino. No, I didn't say he was albino. I just said I thought I, I thought he was mixed. I just thought oh. he was mixed. I guess it was maybe just because of the way I just maybe anyway. He, he just let, let, acts. So okay, so there's Pete Davidson. There's Ray J. No, no. We only counting the black eyes. Yes. Okay, so just the black eyes. Yeah. Ray J. Okay. Uh huh. What's uh uh Reggie uh, uh Kanye West Kanye what Reggie uh Bush uh -huh. Kanye that's three uh -huh. um the one that she was married to for like thirty five days or whatever it was what was his name he was a ball player was he black or he he was that, black no it was that white guy what's the black guy Humphreys? that she Humphreys Chris Humphreys oh, oh that's four now who else have we seen her dating. All I needed to see was her get long dick by Ray J one time, and I knew what the black oh, dick Nick, was. I, they said Nick Cannon. I'm not sure. I don't know. Ooh, what? I heard someone said in the comments. Someone in the oh, comments. Oh, she definitely wore rubber. Uh, okay, so <laughs> I counted four. What other black? What other black people have we seen? Guys, have we seen her out with, like dating? Oh, somebody put Damon Thomas. Who is that? Oh God, that is. where is that? I don't know who no Damon Thomas is. It's listen. All that to say, I've only that's uh, that's only four that I've counted. Girl, they putting Drake down there. <laughs> uh, I wouldn't be surprised. Well, let let me be clear. She is a Libra. I'm a Libra. We will move through a man in a heartbeat. It will happen that way. Oh yeah, she had a first husband too, so that's five. Girl, somebody put the game. My God. Who? They said Michael Jackson's nephew. But my point is, that's only five people. Oh, and Odell, well, they, they haven't come out. Are they dated? Are they dated? Or are they just saying together? Well, that's what I've been seeing now. I don't know if they really are. Okay, and if we count Odell. But I'm not sure. He ain't sitting over there just watching Girl, the young and the wrestlers. Oh, my God. Somebody put Drake as Odell's <laughs> Don't do that. Don't do that. I mean, I'm not sure if Odell just ain't sitting over there at the house watching the young and the wrestlers. I mean, Craig, you never seen feminine... Fem the faggots get pussy because I would have Odell. I know you haven't seen faggots get pussy, of course. I used to fuck a fag that had a 
this is my thing. Uh, y'all be sitting over here with these situations, and I'm not finna fall into this trap because I just had this whole state, this whole statement. Right. <laughs> but I'm gonna say this: getting pussy does not make you straight. No, it doesn't. It just makes you a gay man who's fucking a woman. It just makes you getting pussy. Fucking pussy does not make you straight. Just like sucking dick and fucking a motherfucking man don't make you gay. Ladies, that goes for you too. A lot of y'all out there fucking and riding dicks. Y'all know y'all want a woman. But my point is, it's like, let's just say we counted six or seven guys. I mean, many of us have fucked more than six people. Yeah, we have. But I'm not talking about how who she... I'm talking about what her pussy has done for her. Oh, okay. Her pussy has done these things for her. And her pussy has gathered her in high price men. men. Her pussy has pulled that in. Why you girls who, who y'all talking about that? And this uh, now this is about to be a jab at the pussy ass hoes. <laughs> why are you pussy ass hoes who out there talking about that? I want to be y'all and I'm jealous of y'all. But why y'all not using Kim K as an example and you're using yourself? Because a lot of y'all that be screaming that shit about me, about y'all pussy's not doing anything for you right now. Your bus stopped, your cubicle. Your multiple baby daddy, and you're reading a faggy who don't want your pussy. So I don't understand what put me in a state in a class of data say I'm mad about that pussy right there, not yours. Say cubicles. Yes. <clears throat> and living in an apartment. It's okay to live in an apartment, baby. Mm -hmm. For a time. <laughs> <laughs> well honey get you some property get you some assets property to leave your children because you can't take that rent receipt down to nobody's place unless you're writing it off on your taxes and if you're not using your business taxes to acquire more property what are you doing okay anyway Listen, I feel like that that is a very hot, that is a very, very expensive used pussy. And it's hers and she can do whatever she wants to do with it. You know, I just be sitting over there looking at the men. He followed up under that voodoo spell that them hoes got going over there. I bet you that bitch got a, a, a box of candles under her bed, girl, or over there in one of her prayer closets, girl. And she just writes the names of, of her next, of her next. Her next siren that she's called out to and little niggas, I'll take thee away into my garden of magic. Come all ye niggas, I'll take thee away. Into my garden of magic. You watch motherfucking goddamn Hocus Pocus. <laughs> and Sarah Jessica Parker got on that broom and flew over Salem and was singing that. Oh, know. she's aging horribly. That's Sarah Jessica Parker. Girl, you know what happens when you leave a jar of mayonnaise open. <laughs> 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 oh god oh god well <laughs> girl when that new sex of the city came up and she came up on that screen and screen and that hd i was like good god i'm like all them wrinkles on her neck and up under her eyes and around her lips what is she 36 <laughs> and dog years I was like, good God well, almighty. How is she for real though? She got she looked like she's 117. Alexa, how old is Sarah Jessica Parker? Sarah Jessica Parker is 58 years old. Bitch, we in our fifth. Well, I'm, <laughs> I'm near 50. Girl, I'm not. I'm nearing 48. Oh, I'm I'm, I'm not there yet. Girl, you is nearing nearing 50. Girl. I'm nearing 48. I'm still, I'm still okay. Well, I'm, I'm nearing 30. I'm nearing 47. Okay. Mo is 40. I'm not 40. <laughs> I'm not 40. I'm, I'm in my 30s. We're rounding you up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, let us round you up. We're rounding you up, girl. Look, we're doing this for you. You've been trying to ring us up for the longest, so we're rounding you up. And if one of you share that video one more time <laughs> of, him, of him pulling us together about our age, every time I open up my my, my Twitter, my Instagram, I see that video come back up. That's why we're rounding you up. We're rounding you up. Because we're doing you, you a favor. Because you rung us up. For the, right. so we're rounding your ass. Right. right. We're going to bring you back to reality. <laughs> At least let at least let me get to 37 first. It's okay, 36 will do. Right. <laughs> Round it up. Right. <laughs> we go ahead and graduate you. <laughs> uh, I'm telling you, I can't. I'm still even... looking at that video. I'm not gonna I, lie. I, to you. I, I, listen, I ain't I got see... no choice but to look at it. every time I open up TikTok. I don't care what I open up, there it is. It was the way y'all looked at each other. That's that's the way that girl, because you had tried to gather us real quick, like you know what I'm saying. Okay. Like, how are you going to gather us real quick like that? It's okay, but you were gathered back. You're right. <laughs> Listen, the only but way I that... just had to let y'all know, I can, I can gather also. Then let me tell you something. Yo, you can because you have the skills of a fan. <laughs> right. Be ye not dismayed that you have the skills of a fan. You too. I have learned a for the best. You... <laughs> because I too have a gift to bestow upon the child. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, some more let us like we what time is it? It's almost oh. Super Bowl time. Oh, no. It's it's four, it's four, it's four fifteen or four sixteen. Okay, now. let's come on down here because okay. you know I'll, I'll oh well, you, you want to talk about yes, this? Let's one? talk about this. We should have talked about this earlier. Let's talk about this, ladies. Okay. Chime in. <laughs> I feel like every bitch has fucked with a DL man. Whether you know it, didn't know it or not, you fuck with that nigga. You know, and it's like, you might not have fucked with him after you found out, but I'm telling you, every bitch in America has fucked with a man as DL. Majority of these men are DL. I promise you. So, you know, no shame or nothing, because, I mean, hey, the bad it happened to the baddest bitches. But at least once in your life, you fucked with a DL man. And you may not know he's DL, but he's DL, boo. And it's okay. It's not okay, but it's okay for you because you didn't know. Now, if you openly know that he's DL and you still fuck with him, that's your business. That's that's up to you. That's how you live. That's how you choose to operate. Me personally, if I found out, I would stop fucking with him and leave him alone. But that's just me, you know? But, yeah, I feel like it's just like you can't win for lose. It's just like what the fuck do you do when you find out your nigga DL? Like, it's really not much you can fucking do. And it's just like what do you do? It's just like, you gonna feel disgusted and all that, but at the end of the day, you just gonna have to move the fuck on and go by your day. But the bitches that I really feel bad for is the ones that have kids with them. Like, oh, I know they be sick, but it's like, it's really nothing you can do. It's like all these men just love them, love each other. I don't know. I don't know. Are we, are you starting it off for me? I'll take it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> let, let me tune in. Now, I do think that there's some truth to that, but I think that also fuels what we were just talking about a, a while ago, while why some straight men don't want to be friends, just li literally friends with a gay guy, because there is this, this, this idea that um, a, a majority of men are DL. I don't know if I get into the idea of all a, a majority of men are DL. I don't know if I believe that. I do believe, I, I don't know if I believe that. I do think that a man will fuck another woman. I don't know if I may I interject. Go ahead. Can I interject, please? Mm -hmm. All right. We have to stop labeling something for, because of sexual experiences. Okay. I'm picking up what you're putting down. So you're saying if it was just one time thing, that doesn't make you, you gay. You have to stop labeling things for sexual experiences. There are so many women out there that that could be deemed DL because and they've had experiences. You know what I'm saying? and Or they may have had one woman that they fell in love with and they've been with that one woman. Does that make her gay? Right. There are there are bonds and things that happen between two people that can transpire. We are, we are as human beings, we are wired a certain type of way for emotions, companionship. Yeah. You may be out here with a person right now that you felt is your companion, your soulmate or whatever, and then you meet somebody of the same sex, the same yeah, all over the same thing that possibly is your soulmate. You just haven't had a sexual encounter with them yet. And then once if if it transpires, then it's like, oh my God, right. all this time I have been had, I have had myself into this situation. I don't think that necessarily makes you 
homosexual. Right. I agree. I just don't. Because if Derry J had sex with a woman today. He's, what does he identify as? A woman? I can only speak for me. Do you know how many of you women out there that have offered me pussy? <laughs> that no, that I have that if I ever thought about it, like you know, and I say, you know what, Master, just going to get you some motherfucking pussy. Pussy is thrown at me all the time by badass by women that I deem badass women, like badass, fine ass fucking women that have offered me pussy on a on a on a constant basis. If I hit them today, that does not make me heterosexual. That does not make me automatically now because I don't hit this woman. Now all of a sudden, I'm I'm if I feel it makes me a lesbian. I've had a lesbian experience. And see, and that's what I'm saying. Like if Derek J had sex with a woman today, that wouldn't make him bisexual. It wouldn't make him straight. He's just a gay man who had sex with a woman. No, it was somebody who wrote on Instagram. It would make me bi. It does not make me bi because that's not my sexuality. I've had an experience. Right. That was just an experience. I've had an experience. But women do it all of the time in college. Honey, them I have experiences. I mean, hoes do it all the time in friend groups. Cut it out. <laughs> well, you know they say these fraternities and sororities be. It's okay. This is Mary. When they cross in the line, Girl, when they when but, they cross. But this, but this is my thing, like you know. And them conventions. Correct. Mama Polar Bear said, "Sexuality is an extreme is is an extremely wide spectrum," and that is correct. But we have tried to condense it down to you. You did this, you're gay. You right. Do that, you're straight. And this is why we have men like Boosie and um, and men from that era that are grooming their sons to become hypersexual individuals who who eventually turn out to having a homosexual experience mm -hmm. or having an experience because they're so hypersexual in a in a space where they've been introduced at an early age and the mind is clicking like you've listen you done fucked the whole bunch of bitches what's next especially if you're so hypersexual like that like what's challenging i think you start to look and crave for the next big thing the next thing the yes. next feeling so it's like just because you get pussy does not make you straight just because you've had an experience does not make you homosexual boosie definitely curious if he ain't been touched. Child, that dick's still hard from that man getting fucked in that shower. <laughs> right. That dick's still hard right now. Still hard. Still hard. <laughs> still hard. From that motherfucking man get riding that dick in that shower, holding the motherfucking ankles, riding that dick like this in the shower. <laughs> you see how Craig looking at my ass back there and turned away? He's gay. <laughs> He's gay. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha. He's gay. <laughs> Boosie looked head on at that table. <laughs> In depth description of what happened. <laughs> A full play by play description of what happened. Hmm. Oh my goodness. There is something <laughs> not, not connecting. connecting. It's not touching. Crack look, crack look, notice like yo. And kill <laughs> <"Kill this girl." laughs> If he kept looking, <clears throat> then we would have maybe there'd be some curiosity. He <laughs> was like, man, wanted an experience, you know. Now, there was a time that Craig was in that room watching Golden Girl <laughs> when we were on the road. And I said, I tell the door, I cry, I, cry, I say, Craig, let me suck your dick. <laughs> I was and there. she Craig was laid back in his pajama, his onesie, <laughs> and he said, mm, "You know what? Come on in." <laughs> and I said, "Bitch, I knew you was a fucking dyke." <laughs> mm, come on in. I wasn't doing. Then if this, if that experience had a transpire, it would have been too fat. He's having an experience. <laughs> but neither one of us would have stayed in a lesbian relationship. <laughs> 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 Oh my god. Oh my god. You know, we're we're too tied up and we're too we're too invested in labeling things. It's too much investing in labeling. Mm -hmm. The only thing that I want you to get right for me are my pronouns so that we can have a conversation. My sexual encounters and my sexual who I choose to be with and who I choose to love, you don't need to get that right cuz that's between me and who I'm with. Right. So I don't need that. 
What I need you to get right are my pronouns, she, her, and hers. You get those wrong, we don't have to have any conversation because there's no reason for me to be conversating about who I'm with, who I'm fucking, who I'm having, uh, and kind of who's loving on me and, and until I decide to come forward with that and be like, this is my partner. Mm -hmm. And let me explain something to you, real, you a lot of you hoes, real deeply. No matter who I ever come forward with or ever come with my part, please believe y'all always going to try to get him some pussy because there's a thing in these people's mind that has made them think, why? Why the fuck would you not want to have all this <laughs> when I got all this? Not Craig, check your Twitter, your DM. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> she in it faster than me. Where's it? It's an active shooter. Where at Lake Joe Austin's church? Oh, hmm. yeah, girl. Are they trying to? They trying to take Joe out of here? Lord. Ooh. My God, my God, God. I, I, like, listen, what wires these people to get up and go to church to do this? What is it that wires these people to get up? It's wild. To get up, to go to these churches and do these things to these two innocent people. There was an active shooter. They asked him what happened. There was an active or is an active shooter at Joel Osteen's church, Lakewood Church. That's in Texas, right? Mm -hmm. Wow. But while we over here in this church community, we need to talk about Juanita Biden. Oh, yes. Oh, please. Oh, I, I got well, are it right we finished here. with that? Are we finished with that subject right there about the DL? Oh, yes. And and and, and to back her up, it is true. There are a lot of you women out there that are that have and possibly will. If as long as you give it, as long as you are alive and you're fucking men and you're dating men, there's a possibility that the man you may date might have had an experience. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Sorry, Pooh. Sorry, it's okay. There's nothing wrong with your pussy. Ain't nothing wrong with his dick. You just a choice of, of, of meats that <laughs> you're, you're just that choice of meat. A selection. You're just that meat selection right now. <laughs> you don't know the, 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 the charcuterie board that this man might enjoy. You're just that selection of meat, and it's okay. And please don't think that you are above. <sighs> fucking around with a man who's had an experience because you're not. I'm sorry. There's no, no matter how fine you are, how beautiful you are, how sexy you are, how there, please believe that you are not above a man having an experience and you've dated him or fucked him. or you, it's, You're not above it. Sorry, Keish. Let's go. <laughs> well, here, here's the video of uh, why I need to buy him. He actually stays on the same subject that we've been talking about. Brothers, we wearing our pants too tight. Them, them, them little bitty suits is worrying me. Them ones that's hot waters is cut all up in here too. So we can count how many you got down there. Something is wrong. Little jackets that's too little. Look like you just put on little Ray Ray's clothes or something and came to church. I'm not hearing y'all talk to me. To the point, even your little dance scare me. The way you shout scare me. Your knees too close to be a man. Oh, I'm not getting nobody to talk to me right now. Maybe I got to look down here on the monitor because let me get, get, get tipping when you shout. Open up your legs and shout like a man. Y'all better come over here and say something. Y'all up here shout like girls and the women shout like dudes. Yeah, 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 that's it. 
Close your legs up, you a woman. Where was our difference? The Bible said put a difference. A difference. You know, this is why it's so important to have a relationship with God and let religion go. You done went into a hole, and this is why I tore Kim Burrell's motherfucking gnome shoe wearing ass up. And that's why God pushes that bitch down on every occasion that he has the opportunity to push her motherfucking ass down. You have walked into the church and been put in front of a congregation with these, with, with, and, and given yourselves titles of prophetic and anointed and, 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 and all this type of shit. And you forgot to teach the word. The word, God, if you really knew what Christian is, Christian is Christ like. If we read anything about Christ, Christ ain't never stood on Mount Sinai or no, no, nowhere in those places when he went in the tabernacle and did all that type of shit, talking about what in the fuck you had on. Christ came to, to, to say that he's the way, the truth, and the light. He ain't come doing none of that shit what you man-made motherfucking hoes be doing. It, it irks my, it, 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 it burns me up. Only thing I know Christ being a real nigga about is when he went in there and turned that motherfucking table in there over when you hoes was in there selling fish, fish plates and motherfucking playing spades on the table in there when he went in the tabernacle and turned that bitch over. Right. Mo, you preach, you be out of the pulpit, you know. <laughs> That's the shit that be burning me up. And then it be you punks that be sitting in there doing that hooping and hollering and jumping around and supporting these people, knowing, day, knowing y'all swallowed, y'all swallowed the dick and the balls at the same time. Then knowing that y'all punks be the ones in there spinning around with the dick still inside. Coming to church with that man's children buried in your motherfucking goddamn colon. Well, you done been cummed in all fucking night. <laughs> and y'all punks and fags, I'm talking about the fruity ass gays, be up there whooping and hollering, running around. It's the internalized homophobia for me. And I ain't gonna sit up here and act like that we don't think that Juanita Biden has suffered from the spirit of bulldagging. The spirit of Bull Dykin. We're not even finna sit up here and get and carry like that. You gotta watch the ones that preach so heavy about shit like mm -hmm. that. Those be the main ones that be they, they preach so heavy because that's some, something that they be suffering with. Mm -hmm. My problem in this whole situation is right there. How did you get down on the on the on what you wear on what you wear in the church when you need to be worried about the word? How wh bitch, when we leave here, clothes gonna be in the ground just like our body and our bones gonna be in the ground. What about, what about the soul? We so busy preaching about the motherfucking goddamn uh, 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 abstract situation. What about the concrete about it, which is the soul? When are we going to reach the soul? But see, that's the root of a lot of that church hurt. And that's why you end up having people going up, showing up to these churches, shooting and killing. Like right down here at Lakewood. You know what I mean? It's just like you shouldn't be singled out and targeted like that. Like you should go to church, drop all of your things there, and then come out of there feeling renewed, restored, refreshed, optimistic about life. You know, and you worried about looking down the pool pit and seeing somebody's nuts in some skinny jeans? Bitch, then you need to focus on look down at your Bible. You worried about seeing nuts at the skin and how somebody prays and how they want to put a that's praise bad. on it? That's baffling to me. And one thing I've noticed about churches nowadays, they talk about everything except... Except the Lord. Except the Lord and what the Lord came here to do was talk, talk about love. And if you leave it... Nothing, it I don't hear nothing about loving your neighbor. I don't hear nothing about loving people. And what, what in the hell... And, and if you leave in church feeling heavier than you were when you went in. When the fuck did you go there for? Right. She ain't been right since that man yanked up at that hotel parking lot. <laughs> she ain't been right since that man whooped her ass on her wedding night, bitch. <laughs> or since he was whooping her motherfucking ass, she ain't been right. That's All that prophetic sight that you hoes be having and y'all can't see what's going on in your own life. That's the shit that be disturbing me. Right, you got all these prophetic visions and shit like that, and you can't see what's going on in your own life. I'm looking, you, I'm looking here at the screen with you preaching right now, and all I see is a bull dagger. 
With a curly wig. With a curly motherfucking wig on, bitch. With a 42-inch lace wig that ain't laid right. That's the shit that make me don't go to church. But for real. But see, that's why it's important, like you said, th there's a distinction between religion and spirituality. There's a difference. You know, your conscience, I believe, is your connection to God. It's your compass through life. And a lot of people, and see, this is why a lot of people lose their minds when these pastors fall, have this fall from grace, because a lot of people have deified yep. these pastors, Eddie Long, Jamal Bryant, and I'm not saying Jamal Bryant is a homosexual, but what I'm saying is Jam Jamal Bryant is a philanderer. What does that mean? Alexa, <laughs> what is a philanderer? A philanderer is a person who engages in unfaithful or casual sexual relationships. It is typically used to describe men who are known for being unfaithful or who engage in frequent sexual activity outside of their committed relationships. You know, he was married to Giselle and he was philandering all around Baltimore. <laughs> I'm from Baltimore. He's from Baltimore. So it's like you want to you want to get in church and you want to talk about all of these things over here, and then when 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 they fall from grace, now the now the pulpit is empty because now y'all just can't believe he did this, that, and the third. And he's a man. That, listen, he's human. We need to use that same philosophy, ladies. When you thinking that you not you ain't you ain't never been with no DL man or no man that done did something on the DL. He's a man. You hoes put your heads on the chopping block too much about me about niggas. You mm -hmm. you gonna be some headless horseman, bitch. So it's like some people have the hardest time when these pastors or these church leaders fall. And she's like, oh, I just can't. I'm, they just so devastated. And then they don't want to go to the church anymore. They don't want to support them anymore. Doesn't change the fact that yes, Jamal. They, they be right down there giving their tithes and offering. Right. You know why? Because what? I would have been swallowed up. Have you ever been swallowed up? Have you gone through a time of swallowing where everything was overwhelming and you. You know, James Cleveland used to mess with the boys too. Oh! <laughs> Wait a minute, he did what, Craig? Girl, James Cleveland. You talking about other Mississippi mass choir? And God rest his soul. I, I, yes. Tell me more. What happened? God rest his gay soul. Uh uh, you sure? Oh, I'm certain. You talking about, did he stay with Aretha then, right? You saw him in that Aretha movie. Ooh. I, Is the father of Aretha's children in that saved household? I, I, yes. Now, didn't Kim Burrell have a husband that was snatched up by another man? He up there in Pittsburgh or Philadelphia. With his husband? I, I, yes. Wait a minute. That's why Kim Burrell tears y'all faggots up all the time. <laughs> no, he she gets y'all faggots together. I tell you, some motherfucker. That's why God give me the breath to blow on her. her she be falling the right. Road. Yeah, she had a homosexual husband. I, I, yes. Do that. Now they say Yolanda Adams had a, a punk as a husband too. Oh, did they say she walked in? I, Yeah, I tell y'all, do they be preaching hard like that and be going back and forward and finding all the sissy fire stuff? It be stuff they be windmilling, battling, and fighting over. Am I right about it, Craig? Oh. Yes. Oh. Have my shape. He can't talk about the very first bull dagger. The girl, Shirley Frank. I mean, not Shirley Franklin. Shirley Stevens. I'm sorry.
I, 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 I had to remind myself where I was at, praise God, but this is one night revival, praise God, and we're in testimony. First, giving honor to God, da, 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 who's the head of my life, giving honor to my pastors, amen. Wait a minute, what, well, who said, what you said about Kirk Franklin Cray? I mean, Girl, because you know. Oh, what? Uh, The names that one on the list. Girl, girl, does Donnie McClarkin still live in the Carolinas? Oh. Uh, yes. You gotta stop being messy like this. Girl, you think when we go to Nashville, we're gonna see BB Wine and oh. uh, uh, yes. How have my shape? Get no more and B.B. Wallace and C.C. Wallace's son with Whitney Houston that was also a lesbian. Oh. Uh, yes. How oh. have my shape? Get tando no no mo sando no 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 I'm sorry. I, 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 I had to remind myself where I was at, praise God, but this is one night revival, praise God, and we're in testimony. First, giving honor to God, da, 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 basha, who's the head of my life, giving honor to my pastors, amen, Bishop and Executive Overseer d -Way. giving honor to my brother, Elder Montmore, giving honor to Bishop Moore, to, amen, Mother Dr. Moore, giving honor to the praise team, yeah, yes. I tell you, I'm saved and sanctified. Hold it up, I Holy Ghost filled and fire baptized. I, I got the Holy Ghost with the evidence of speaking in tongues. Glory to God. I love Him and I thank Him. Glory to God that even in my ba 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 sha na na. Girl, is Miss Bobby Jones retired? She's still alive, right? Oh, uh, yeah. The pronouns are he and he is free. Bobby Jones. What he did? Is he? Bobby Jones did what? It's all about Bobby Jones. Bobby Jones. Bobby Jones. Bobby Jones. Bobby Jones. Who Bobby? Who Bobby? Who Bobby? Who Bobby? I ain't heard no new music from Ricky Dillard in a while. What was that? Craig is just really sitting up here. We're gonna have to close the show. Have you heard any, have you heard any new music from Ricky we're gonna, Dillard? We're gonna have to close the show, Craig. What about Donald Lawrence? <laughs> Greg Donald ain't. Lawrence ain't putting nothing out lately. Greg, Greg ain't stopping. <laughs> Greg ain't Donald stopping. Lawrence hasn't put. Greg, why you do this to the church like this today? It's Sunday. Anyway, I do want to go back to the whole uh, 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 James Cleveland. So remember how Eddie Long had the Longfellow Academy? Remember his name is Eddie Long. So he had the Longfellow Academy, and that was supposed to be this mentoring program where he was really grooming those young boys. Well, James Cleveland had a music ministry. I can't remember the name of it right now. But he was supposedly working with young boys who had talent in the music industry and they expressed interest in music. Well, he was using that to groom them. And as the story goes, he had adopted a young boy, infected that young man. With what? The AIDS. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, 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 I had to remind myself where I was at. Praise God. But this is one night revival. Praise God. And we're in testimony. First, giving honor to God. Da, 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 basha, who's the head of my life. Giving honor to my pastors. Amen. Bishop. And yeah, so we just want to remind you all that we're going to be in Nashville on February 29th. Get your tickets now. You can visit www.fagtalk. That's P H A G. D A T A W L K. The link is right there. You can purchase your merch for Fag Talk as well. Anything else you want to share, Madison? 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 
<laughs> Matt Madison, girl, you had said the other week about the supermarket sweep, girl. Yeah, I'm sorry, I told you I'm coming over here doing this. Tonight. Girl, the other week you had said the supermarket sweep had devastated yeah, the girls. Girl, I also told the girls that they didn't have to get it because they, they were thinking it's called prep. Girl, you they take your Tic Tac. Yes. It's, no, it's prep. The, the, the Tic Tac is if you have it. Oh, the Tic Tac is when yes, you have it. Yes. Okay. If you have it, it's the Tic Tac. But you could do the pre tech type. It's prep. I'm not getting to that stuff, girl. <laughs> you see, you, 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 you see how she you see how she leaves me over here. You, have, you, you see how she you, well, girl, we, girl, well, well, girl, well, girl, well, girl, when you started talking about the AIDS the other week, girl, girl, come back, Caroline, come back to the light, come back to the light. Okay, we'll, we'll call it the power. What about the power? <laughs> Right, but so you don't get the power or the eight. That's right. There, there, there's a there's a there's a right. barrier. There's a oh, barrier. Like a reset factory, but the reset factory, but so that you don't get it. Prep is available to everyone. Please, we need a thirty second break. Please. <laughs> Please. Oh, we're back. Yes, we are. Oh, I thought you were gonna loop it again. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Listen, I, don't I thought, forget. I thought she, uh, don't forget to sign up for pay for your say. Let me remind you of that. So, like we were talking about building wealth, building uh, 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 discretionary income. Don't forget to sign up for pay for your say. Is it's www dot paid for your say. You have one hundred. Okay. I'm just making so it's www dot paid for your say. Use promo code Maddie one zero zero. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Cause well, you're not gonna terrorize my bag. It's a way to, for you guys to make money without even leaving your house. <laughs> it's market research. <laughs> it's market research. You get paid for your opinion. So it's an amazing way. Oh, she just spilled the wine over here. <laughs> well, girl, well, girl, when you get a towel over there, mom. Uh, you don't want those. Now, it's too many people have suffered and died from the from, from, from the year. Now, girl, you now, girl, you had just said over here. Girl, I stood over there and told you about about the supermarket sweep. Yes, I did, and I also said that we're not living in that time of, of the supermarket sweep anymore because there are things called prep. Correct. And if you think that you have been exposed to it, there is a pill, is a pep pill, like a morning after pill. Right. So, girl, honey, but please, you got to take that within forty eight hours. Yes, but you also please make sure you're going to see your health care provider. And if you do have it, it is not a death sentence it is anymore. Not. But if you don't have it, you can prevent it by getting yourself involved with prep. And you still need to be protecting yourself just because the girls tell you that they're undetectable. That's correct. But you still can provide yourself with prep. Prep. We're going to do a whole P R E P prep. Prep. Yes. Prep. T.S. Madison said prep. <laughs> if you stay ready, you don't have to get ready. And you can prepare yourself with prep. P-R-E-P. -E prep. It's for gays and for straights and so that you don't obtain the AIDS. <laughs> you're not going to get me. You don't what? Girl, you're not going to get me Tied up into the girl, so you don't what? So that you don't take, you're not gonna get me. You're not gonna have me caught up in the motherfucking situation, girl. They're not gonna chop off my bag <laughs> because you, you do. You, see, I get silent money. That's why I go missing off of the internet for so long. Instagram just disconnected. It's okay, we're not coming back. <laughs> I'm gonna let that one go by this business. <laughs> uh, was there anything else in here that we needed to no, talk about? No. It's okay. We know. That's it? <laughs> For today. <laughs> For today. What you're not going to do is have those people terrorizing me, honey. 
no ma'am, no God. <laughs> Prep. Prep. <laughs> oh, we were talking about Selena. Oh, okay. That, that, that is. Yeah, we're going to close out. Yeah, we're going to. I need 30 seconds to reset. Let me pull this hole together real quick. <laughs> oh, you ain't got to pull me together. Oh, I got to, bitch, because I told you about coming over here with the bullshit. Uh First of all, Craig, out of already explained, I, I, now, now that I've given you your, your tapping on your shoulder, we are homeless. We are we are in the ubiquitous community. We are definitely susceptible to AIDS, HIV, no matter how we protect that we are, X, Y, Z. So we, I, 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 there's no way that I want anybody out there to think that I'm sitting up here laughing about AIDS or HIV because I don't because we can get it at any moment. Girl, we're not laughing about it. But I don't want those people to take that, to get a, take a perception of that and think that that's what I'm <laughs> doing. Don't you do that, Craig. Don't you do that. You asked me, what did he get? And I said, the eighth. That wasn't making fun of anybody. Honey, I had to press out on you. So it is very, it is a very serious thing. And that we're not going to do that. And, and this is why you have to use our platform to talk about how it did come through and do a supermarket sweep <laughs> on the door. <laughs> And put y'all in the checkout line. And, uh, us, because you're part of the little big little community. <laughs> put us in the checkout line. However, there are the way that medicines have advanced to the state that it is now, mm -hmm. you do not have to fall in that category right now. So, therefore, somebody put ten items or less. Correct. So, therefore. <laughs> It is not the death sentence that it used to be. And however, it is preventative methods put in place in order for us not to receive the AIDS, the HIV, or whatever it is. Thanks. <laughs> okay, now we're about to talk about who? Bitch. Selena. <laughs> Selena. Um, uh, Yolanda South South Zar. Oh, yeah, sorry. Thank God we got rid of Al's. <laughs> <laughs> Cold name Sam Bazaar. <laughs> Old blue eyes. Right. Oh my God. What the fuck do this bitch got to say? Well, she's supposed to be putting out a book or something. What the right? fuck does she got to say? Because she ain't but three days from getting out. She's supposed to get out in 2025. I heard something. Yeah, but she's getting out in the next. I think next year she's eligible for parole. And I think that she's going to get out. Yes. she been in there. Selena, how long? Alexa. How long has Selena Quintanilla been dead? Damn, it's been that long? Yes. I thought, I thought usually... March 31st, 1995. I thought when you Damn. when you do that, when you commit that type of crime, you at least get about a good 50 or something. Well, you know that you know a life sentence is 25 years. And with good behavior, it's less than that. A life sentence is 25 years. That's why they'll usually say... A mandatory 25, yeah. right? Because you can always get out earlier. So, my thing is, you know, 
Do we want her out? I know the entire Me listen, the entire Mexican and black community want to do want a piece of Amanda Salves. So she should get out. Amanda or Yolanda, whatever the <laughs> fuck that bitch name is. <laughs> you give this one oh, who the fuck is Amanda? Oh, that's what we call that other girl, Amanda. Salves is all. Girl. Someone said, I hope her parole gets revoked. No, when she get out here, they're gonna fuck her up. <laughs> They're gonna have to put that bitch in witness protection <laughs> program. Well, I'm gonna tell you one thing: the the Mexican community was pissed off that they put J Lo in that role. Now I know they say that she did a really great job playing Selena in that movie, but the uh, Mexican community was pissed. They were like, well, "Why the fuck couldn't y'all find a Mexican person to play this role?" Well, J Lo is that Puerto is, Rican. That is correct, and this is why again representation matters. Right. Like when we don't get an opportunity to see each other anywhere in any place, because you know, because a bitch screaming out, "That's not my where my Emmy." Just oh, like that, um, sorry, tran, tran, oh, Trans America was that the name of that movie with Felicity uh, Huffman or something? And she played a trans woman. People, trans people then were pissed off. They were like, "Why couldn't you find a trans girl to play?" This? When there's so many uh, available trans actors and actresses, you know. But here's the thing: I don't think uh, uh, Yolanda needs to say any fucking thing because she done. She did it. She I did it. I never saw it. I watched the. Selena story on Netflix. Didn't we talk about that when it was on? We did, but we we can we can revisit it really quickly now. Yeah, I, I watched that. I thought it was really good. It was really a good in depth story, like from her getting into the music industry, how she met Yolanda, and like I really enjoyed that series. Let me tell you something. I could cry every time I watched Selena. Every single time I could watch it because it was just a heinous act against a young girl. By this old thieving ass bitch that sat up there and claimed to be her friend and loved her. That's why you got to watch them motherfucking hoes. The minute them bitches give you a, the minute they give you an inkling, right? You got to turn them loose, bitch. I need to watch that J Lo movie though. Uh, J Lo did an exceptional job. Yeah, I need to watch. I ain't that. even gonna sit up here front, even though she can't. Even if I like J Lo as an actress. I do. Me too. I do. As a singer, she's right. not so much. She sounds like Ashanti for some reason. Really? You think she sounds like Ashanti? <laughs> Mo, let it, let Mo us, you let, know for a fact that she sounds like Ashanti. You know, Ashanti did a lot of those back. Because it is Ashanti singing. Yeah, but I mean, I always thought, to me, I always thought. Ashanti has a real rice crack, rice cake voice too. But the yeah, but, but the gag is better, though, than, because know. because I, the, it is Ashanti singing. <laughs> I mean, Ashanti can't sing either. But I mean, <laughs> yes, she can, Craig. If you would have killed a guitar, even if it were broke, my love don't cost a thing. Okay, singing a Ashanti song. Thing. And Ashanti had hits. I'm not trying to be shady. Ashanti had hits, but I just want I want I want to hear. So are we closing out with music? Yeah. Since we're in the Selena King yeah. Yeah. And, and Nashville, y'all singers better be ready because we're gonna do a. a, a uh, do a, you want to smoke live, live in Nashville? In Nashville. So baby. don't bring your ass up on that stage if you can't sing. No, you should. Even if I was broke, my love won't cost a thing. I'm still asking for Ashanti. You, that's not Ashanti. That, that, that was J-Lo. That was J-Lo. Now, Ashanti may have been on the scratch vocals. <laughs> she may have been on the scratch vocals. Um... What's... Do it. Just remind me. It's been so long. Well, I know she's she has she's done a lot of features. Like Rain on me, long. Rain on me. Baby, 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 baby. That one too. I'm not other when you call. 
Always on time. Hey, you not all made it. What she say? Gina. Yeah. It's murder. <laughs> Can I get that again? That baby part. That... I'm not always there. Baby, I'm not always there when you are. Always on time. Gave you not a baby. <laughs> That's what she did. Great. Just because you wrote almost doesn't count does not mean that it gives you the right to critique everything that the lady said. <laughs> now, listen. Now, what that brand? Now, I sat in the studio with that lady when she was singing, and she sat on a stool and created all that ambiance. Well, her with Monica the boy's mind. Okay, no, I want you to see a song that she got by herself. Um, but Brandy has lots of songs by herself. I'm just not giving her the Bible. Sorry. I'll give her the notebook that you could take notes from Brandy, but I'm not giving her the Bible. The Bible is something that we black people take extremely sacred. The what? notebook is something different. You can take notes. Well, what you giving Monica? Monica can sing. I didn't say she couldn't, but she No, but they've given her they've given her the Bible. I'm not co-signing that. Well you, well, you know, they've been giving her the But Bible. Brandy could sing boots, though. Here's what I'm going to say to all of you who be hating on Brandy. Girl, this is not a hating. I'm not hating on Brandy. Bitch, I think that Brandy, I think that Brandy can sing down to the floor. I think that. But I'm not giving biblical skills. Okay. They said Monica gets the uh, pamphlet. I'm not giving... No, we, but nobody has... Mo no, no one's giving Monica anything. <laughs> Stop that, Craig. <laughs> Now, when I moved to Atlanta, I wanted to write with Monica. It was my dream to write with her. What but, when, age? but but when I when I when when my when I fine tuned my ear, and I really started listening to the mechanics of a recording and listening to the way that my girl Brandy, um, yeah. my girl Brandy, um, stacks them vocals and those backgrounds, and she put all that whimsical, ethereal ambiance and atmosphere on the song. Uh, you know, all that kind of shit. Now, Monica can sing, but Monica be flat and sharp at times, too. They always said uh, Full Moon is uh, top five. Damn right. Now, Monica be flat and sharp now. I ain't even gonna lie. When you said that in the room, I'll be giving you the eye. You get it out if you want. You get it cracking if you like. This is just a few moves. But I thought I do lie. I did like that song, though. I can't even lie. You said Whitney co signed for Brandy? Damn right. Whitney's did a lot and a lot <clears throat> and a lot of drugs. <laughs> <laughs> Whitney did lots of drugs. You ain't even have to do that. And I love my Whitney, but she did a lot. You didn't have to do that, Maddie. You did not have to do that right now. You did not have to do that. So gone. Oh, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. New trainer. <laughs> Now, I'm going to tell you something. I love Brandy, and I like Monica. But can't neither one of them fuck with my girl Jasmine Sullivan. I like Jasmine Sullivan. She sets them both down. Well, thank you for, for letting Brandy have a seat. <laughs> have a seat, Miss Netta. <laughs> Did you play that, man? I have a seat. I can't wait to give Charles some of this good meat. <laughs> now, my Jasmine Sullivan... I don't know that she sing and first stack of all, vocals. She writes. First of all, let's talk about Taylor Swift really quick and the way she gave that motherfucking 
She went up there and got that Grammy. And paid dust to Celine. And paid dust to Celine. A bitch that was sing her up under, her, was sing her age, would sing her backwards in time. I just think that, you know, I looked at that video. I, I, I kind of think that she was just really excited. I don't think she I, I think that she was really excited, but, you know, it still was. And first of all, I watched a video that showed me how uh, she lobbies for her Grammys. What? Yes. There's a video I watched. So she lobbies. She takes out billboards. Really? Yeah. She takes out billboards and all types of stuff for her to get her Grammy. She has not done a body of work that I that I have felt has been an album of the year. She's white and she works in, in white mediocr mediocrity. Am I right? Yeah. And um, you know, where as Beyonce as a black woman has to has to over sing, over rift, over run, over dance, over 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 stage, like overdo this to be snubbed. Mm -hmm. And this girl comes out with and the gang go take big 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 with and sit down on the floor with a guitar. Now bad blood was my shit. I don't give a fuck what your shit was. And Jay-Z didn't say anything motherfucking wrong. He sure didn't. When he fixed his mouth, and that may belong to the Grammy, so we may not play that. Okay. okay. Mm -mm. That's maybe CBS, where they see BS. Right. <laughs> but, okay. you know, so we're going to go ahead and delete that. Yeah, yeah. But he wore them out. Yes, she has 32 Grammys, but none of them has been album of the year. And she has been snubbed for album of the year for so long. She's supposed to get album of the year when Adele won. She's supposed to get album of the year when, when we were up. And we got, um, that's how I got that green bitch from Renaissance. You're supposed to get an album of the year for that. Like, I don't give a fuck what y'all say. That woman culturally came through there and had everybody. We were all in silver, bitch. Well, you know, and Adele even said that. Adele said, yeah, I don't know how Beyonce didn't get album of the year. Comment. That, 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 uh, she Because Beyonce won for, I think, won best electronic song or whatever. It was, it, it, we, we want, we. Sorry. <laughs> You you all won. we won for best dance yeah uh, dance, uh, dance song I think <laughs> girl you speak French too I do <laughs> I do <laughs> oh my god but yeah but um but now aside from Beyonce because I I don't want y'all to think that I'm saying she should have never won album of the year but just aside from that if we look at what Jay Z said if a person and again I'm not talking about Beyonce if a person has won a bunch of Grammys, best new artist, um, or a song of the year, or you know, best video performance, whatever the, the categories are. Does that mean that you necessarily should have won album of the year at some point? Because I think Whitney Houston has had great singles, but I've never felt like she's had the best album. Like I like we've talked about this before. I think Mariah Carey has a better body of work than Whitney. But I like Whitney's voice better. Yes. You know what I'm saying? I will say that there are some songs that Mariah Carey has sung that I felt that could have been given to other artists. She didn't necessarily herself have to sing them, and I didn't listen to it. But see, she writes most of her stuff. And she should give them away. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's really how you feel? I don't need to hear her whistle everything. Now, Bodyguard, <laughs> Bodyguard was definitely the album of the year that year. Bodyguard I, I, I don't. I don't need to hear her whistle everything. <laughs> hmm. I don't. Okay. Okay. I don't need to hear. I don't need to see her find trying to find her earpiece throughout the entirety. <laughs> I don't need it. And again, I can be critical over Mariah and also and also ring Ariana Grande up in the basket because when they try to say that Ariana Grande is her, is her replacement, sweetheart, in Mariah's prime, Ariana Grande couldn't whistle in motherfucking Mariah's direction. And Ariana Grande could sing to me, but she couldn't whistle in Mariah Carey's direction, bitch. Let's be clear here. What about Jennifer Hudson? Craig, why? <laughs> Craig, why? Why? We're talking about music, right? I mean, she has a talk show now, but didn't she record some She album? still records. Alexa. How many albums has Jennifer Hudson sold? Total. So she's had three albums Wait, and she's got sold. water damaging. Child, you dropped that wine in that. It's water. It's from this. Girl, because Alexa whispering like she's scared of Jennifer Hudson. <laughs> I barely could hear her. So anyway, what, what Alexa whispered was, 
Jennifer Hudson has had three albums and she sold a total of 1.4 million. Although she hasn't put out an album in six years, she still is a music artist. Craig, my personally ask you, what is your what is your hang up with Jennifer Hudson? <laughs> let, me let me tell you something. I, I just need to know what is your hang up with Jennifer Hudson? I, I like Jennifer. I just feel like when she was on American Idol, I was rooting for Jay Hud. And then she got sent home. And then she came out with her album. And I just don't think that she chose great songs. I mean, I think she has a few songs. Like, Stand Up is one of my great Oh, if we all stand together, let's no, watch no. no, 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 not that. No. No, no, no. Behind, stand up for love. What was that modulation? Do that crescendo one more time. Stand up for love. Oh, they said it's Destiny. Oh, yeah, that ain't Jay Hood. But you said stand up. Yeah, but then uh, no. <laughs> and that was the first thing that came to your head. Because that's the only one I know. <laughs> I mean, she had a couple songs that I liked, but I just, I don't know. I just, I don't know. Craig, what does she do? She doesn't tickle your fancy, basically. Well, first of all, she ain't hired no homosexual to, to dress her. And if she did, she need to fire him and find another one. And I don't like, ooh, ooh living under, under your spotlight. spotlight. I mean, she had that, and she had. Girl, what you about to do with this karaoke mic? I remember a song she used to have with Neo. She had a song with Neo. Yeah, it was like them doing like a back and forth duet type thing. Oh yeah, I remember that song. Yeah. Our songs are so old fashioned. <laughs> what? Wait. Oh. You don't want to give it to me? Give me one. Hello. Give me one. What? What did? What did? Um, Jennifer win that Grammy for? Was Was it a song? Now, if If this is in love, was my shit by Jennifer? Now I'll put that shit on today. Now I do like that. They said. Didn't Neo uh, write If This Is In Love? He wrote something over there on that album. Now, I love Fantasia, and Fantasia sing. Yeah, I love Fantasia. It's probably there, isn't it there? Hello? Yes. What's Fantasia's song that we like? I love, uh, listen, Ain't Gonna Beg You. Um, What's my, Free Yourself. Um. Uh, 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 when I see you, see you. What's the other one? She's what's the song? She's on. I believe. I didn't like that one. Where did it go? I don't know because I didn't like that one. With the one where she won American Idol? Yeah. What? Yeah, how it go? Wait a minute. How does it go? Mm -mm. How it go? I care. I go, y'all. Have you ever said? <laughs> when I think about have you ever, I'm thinking about Brandy. Have you? Have you ever? I didn't like that song either. You didn't like that song? No, I didn't. Have you ever? No. Oh, wow. This is me. That was my shit, too. Oh, my God. That This Is Me was my shit. Um, but wait, what was that other song? Got Me Waiting. Got Me Waiting was my shit. This is my two-week notice. I resign my position because you ain't treated me right. Yeah. Um, so without me, uh, with Kelly Rowland. What could I be without me? Without me, without me. But Kelly, but Kelly Rowland stuck hung with her. On what? On um, uh, without me. I like Kelly Rowland. Yeah. Kelly Rowland sings, and she can't really sell too many albums over here in the States. 
But she's number one. But she's one. huge over in the UK. Listen, just because your dick get hard for her does not make the facts be what the facts are. What do you mean? You over this one? She didn't. Bump with your no, face no, is my I shit too. No. And truth is by Fantasia. I just, I just like Kelly Rowland. Kelly Rowland's beautiful. Um, she had a couple songs. She like she, she carried the shit out of Bad Habit with Destiny's Child. How many times? Oh, that was flat. Ooh, ain't nothing wrong with it. <laughs> Let me try that again. How many times? Uh huh. Are you wait wait? I can't even get the now. No, it needs to be girl. How many times? Yeah. That's my shit. It get hard sometimes when I need my man. How do you understand? I tell you, yeah. That's my shit. Now, Michelle came in on that bridge with that little rice cake voice. Bitch, I live for Michelle. Don't you do Michelle. <laughs> Why does Michelle in, always get the back she, she came, she came I in live in, for Michelle. She came in there with that plain oatmeal voice. Let me tell you something. I live for Michelle. <laughs> Michelle came through. Michelle comes. Listen, Michelle. Everybody get on Michelle all the time. Michelle comes through and gives what needs to be given. <laughs> she came through she there. She her role. She came through there with that plain cream of wheat. I'm doing it, doing no butter, it, love. No I'm finally giving it up. I gave so much of the past. <laughs> For love, I'm always hot. I'm doing it. And what was that bridge over there on Survivor? Out of all the pain and the darkness. And you got happiness. And I just run myself with positive things. And I don't want to be somebody. I was like, Michelle, get out of here. <laughs> Michelle is singing over there on that back of that epiglottis. I'm doing it, doing it, love. I'm doing it, doing it, love. I gave so much of the past. For love, I've always had. I'm doing it. <laughs> Girl, that voice is so shrilly. <laughs> I'm not the girl that ain't all in the storm tonight. He's not that girl that ain't all in the I'm not that girl that ain't all in the He don't want it like the all in the Oh, he looking good and he talking right. He's not that song that my chain I like. He's not that song that my girl tonight. He don't want it like the all in the If you still think who? I ain't check it for you. Gotta be straight if you're looking for me. I need a soldier. Craig, stop it. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, I love Michelle. <laughs> I like the. I used to watch her reality show. That's the that was thing good. You like. That's the I thing did. You like. I like. Yeah, but I. I I'm not a fan. Oh, of oh, oh, he looking good. And you know, he's talking about. Oh, for real. Did you know that? Why do you keep attacking Monica? We're not doing that. No, no, no. I'm saying she did. You didn't know that? How was that an attack on Monica? Because I said, because I know you're, I know you're, I know where you're going. <laughs> oh, he looking good and he talking right. He done tied that my chain a lot. That's all going to be stuck in your head for He done got his honey on the night. What about Keisha Cole? I remember when my heart broke. I remember when I gave up loving you. The sun is not the sun that loving you. So sad and lonely. Oh. That, uh, I remember when you stole my heart. I gave up loving you. That's sent from heaven. Yeah. How, what do you, I, I hopefully I pronounce her name right. The so the 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 I hope I say her name right. Uh, Lettucey. Uh, I think that's her name. Oh, Lettucey. I love Lettucey. Lettucey is bitch. That's my girl. <laughs> Going through changes. Bitch. Bitch. <laughs> bitch. <laughs> that Lettucey, listen, she sings. I was sad and lonely. Oh, I remember. <laughs> You stole You gave up. Uh, I said cheated. I, I should have cheated. I should have cheated. Shit. I should have cheated. Yeah. Let me tell you, Chi Chi. I'm not gonna tell y'all no lie. Chi Chi is the reason why I know like a lot of those artists that came out during that time because Chi Chi used to be over there in his this in the car playing those. I'm like, girl, what is this? It's, it's like Keisha. And let me be the one you believe in. Hard and hard and sin from heaven. heaven. 
Yes. Sin from heaven. Um, but you know, this one of her songs that I'm favorite, one of my favorite songs from her is uh Baby, 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 it's a long, 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 long way down. You don't know that one? Wait, who is that? Keisha Cole. Yeah, I only got into the yeah. Well, I, I know how about the one um what's the one I think it's called? Something about him being a man. Something about I can't remember, being a man. Uh, that's Tony hey. Braxton. No, 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 no. no that's uh, that's the uh, uh, that's K Michelle. K raise a man. He's yeah, already gone. What you gonna K. do? K. Raise a man. Yeah, that's act like a boy. I know everybody loves that song. La- <laughs> so, so somebody in the comments just said, "Craig, weren't you just over there on on the read?" Somebody said, "Sing some Tasha K songs." <laughs> uh, <laughs> Read letters. Locked up, you won't let me out. Locked up, you won't let me out. Get locked up. Locked up, they won't let me out. Steady trying to find the motive. Well, they're going to be locked up. <laughs> Why do what I do? <laughs> Still, it ain't getting no closer. They're going to be locked up. They're going to get Mike going in and out. It might be because I'm over here. I remember when my heart broke. I remember when I gave up loving you. Sometimes it did had made me do do. So say lonely. Oh. Keisha calls first to album. Don't, you see, you see, now y'all try to be messy because Akon is not my cousin. Don't even do that. Anything after Keisha Cole's second album? Y'all can have that. Mm-mm. Oh, you only liked her se- f- first two? Mm-hmm. Bitch, I live for she you. ran out of shit to say. <laughs> <laughs> she needed to, that's when she needed to bring somebody in to write for her, just like Kelly Price. Kelly Price's first two albums were great. But after that, Mirror Mirror. You didn't you like so what you telling me you like Mirror Mirror. Yeah, because that's what the, that's the album that had um Is it great? I wasn't home in a midnight hour. What's that? You should have told me that I album. Smiling up. Right. And she had um what? Oh, how do I wanna lose my baby? Yeah, but well, this pain just drives me crazy. Feels like I'm, I'm going, going insane. insane. And I gotta be strong. Cause it will pain. Sometimes there will be pain. There will be some Sometimes some troubles will come. Troubles will come. <laughs> <laughs> but that dick just drives me crazy. I don't think that's what she said. Feels like she's, I'm going she's insane. a fat bitch. That's exactly what she meant. And you were just talking about your about your your goat of all singers. You should sing the song that they did together. Oh, with uh, Kelly. Kelly yep. Listen, I ain't even and gonna, Faith. Yeah, and Faith. And I'm Faith. not even gonna front. Kelly held back because it was Whitney. You, you think, oh, you for real, bitch? Whitney was not in her in her, her prom. Yeah, she wasn't in her prom. But Kelly held back because it was Whitney. <laughs> but Ke- that was we talking about Big Kelly. Yeah, yeah. We talking about Big Kelly. When she's aware all that that left. We talking about Big Kelly. <laughs> we not talking about medium, medium Kelly right now. We talking about Big Kelly. Right. When she's aware when all that left. was saying a friend of mine. <clears throat> I'm not even going to front. Big Kelly would have would have blew Whitney's wig back. You mean that Whitney? That Whitney. That Whitney. Okay. But Whitney would have came back, honey. <laughs> oh. <laughs> When, listen, at the end of Le- Whitney's life, when she was doing all that talk singing, <sighs> what am I about to lose my breath? <laughs> no more fighting land. Sick heat of eyes, no more. Coming through that open door. Well, that Whitney could, could hey, be a lot of the singers we got out That right I'm now. taking, ooh, that to my regret. Now, I think uh, Faith held back, too, now. 
Face game. Face game. That's what it was. What you not gonna do is try to minimize my girlfriend. <laughs> Because I don't remember them bringing uh, Adina Howard <laughs> onto, onto any collaboration. Here she, she go. This is how she want to close out the show with Adina I don't, Howard. I don't plan. see them bringing your girl Adina Howard onto any. <laughs> Here she go. Here she go. Want to come over here? I, 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 don't, I, don't, I don't see them bringing your girl Adina Howard. Was she, was she on her shift that day at the FedEx? Was she on her shift that day at the FedEx up in Rochester, New York? Greg, who told you that to do that? <laughs> who, who told you that? Nobody told me that. That's just something that I said. I never knew there was a love like this before. Never had someone to show me love. Love like this before. And now you have come to me. A brand new love. I can't, I can't see. see. You got that? Was it this really? Never thought you'd be special part of me. Oh, oh baby. baby. If we can work together, <laughs> maybe we can last <laughs> forever. forever. This, this is something that I want to hold on to. And I know Today. I never knew there was a love like this before. Never knew. Never Somebody knew. say, hey, I'm from Rochester. <laughs> Is she oh. that one over there on um oh but did you did, did y'all like uh as soon as I get home though? But, that was my shit. Sleepless night. That was my shit. Lonely day. Oh, oh. Hey. This is, can we say some Janet about it? <clears throat> this is a story about control. Y'all that whispering. <laughs> I used to y'all started. Y'all started, 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 started it. All that whispering and carrying on. <laughs> right. <laughs> when I was 17, my mom had already showed me. <laughs> and I'm not going to and I'm not at all me. But I'm gonna go. See, see, Michelle should have Michelle Williams should have come out during that era. Stop it. <laughs> you Michelle, will, Michelle you Williams. Will stop it. Michelle Williams should have come out during that Macy era. Gray, Macy Gray, Macy yeah. Gray, uh-uh. Treat me like your money. Can't get back and know me. I'm not going to look at me, God. Can't get that they want me. Something up and go me. I'm not going to get that they got. You don't know Macy Gray songs? I don't, I don't know her songs. I, not, not I never was a Macy Gray fan. I loved her as an actress. But I, I never was like a fan of her music. That that raspy voice was just too much for me. What is she saying? <laughs> Murders. <laughs> What is she saying? Girl, why would you do that to make the gravel? All that gravel in her throat. What is she saying? <laughs> what the same could be said about Tony.
So and gone. Bring back those nights when I held you beside me. Unbreak my heart. Say you love me again. Undo this. Hurt your cause when you're out and walk down my life. All she really does. No, no, say Tony gives all of that. <laughs> so, you know, but it's like for me, it's like you never. For me, I don't ever understand what the hell she's saying anymore. Who told you? Yeah, I haven't understand understood a lyric since she was working with Babyface. So this, so, <laughs> so you put her and Janet in the same thing because I haven't really understood what Janet's been saying since after Control. <laughs> And that must line it up. Anita oh. Baker's another one who gobbles up some words. Oh, someone, someone said Shantae Moore. I like Shantae. She only got a couple songs. She's the ride, never body. Get the flowers, cross the line. Take me home to meet us from oh, oh, yeah. yeah. You know that's you know that's why Craig, that's why Craig favorite. That's what we call when, when Craig was deep in his relationship, honey. Ha, ha, ha. Craig's nickname was Shantae. <laughs> oh, how he... Well, you know, no shade. I'm no longer in the relationship, but that old thing comes back every now and then. What, whose business of that was it to tell? Somebody may want to eat your groceries and they may not want to step in the grocery store because son of your, the old thing is coming that back there plowing, plowing the backyard. <laughs> Doing what? Plowing the backyard. Getting plowed. Oh, Craig, so you're a top. Madison. <laughs> you're a top. Okay. <laughs> you're a mess. Alexa. You're a mess. What is a top? <laughs> a top is a food item. This place on, place on top of another, another food, food item. item. And I've always heard you say, be careful what you touch, you play with somebody's food. That's right. <laughs> anyway, ladies and gentlemen, we've come to the end of our show because it's time for the Super Bowl to get ready to get started. And I got to see what this announcement Miss Beyonce is getting ready to make. I need to see. Like, oh, what... she's making an announcement today? There's an a, a, there's alluding to there's an announcement getting ready to be made tonight at the Super Bowl. I don't know what it is. I want to see Ursha perform. How you doing? Right. <laughs> Bitch, we'll talk about that this week. Uh-huh. Girl, you saw the commercial for that? No. Oh, for the for the for the yes. But that Wendy Williams documentary, I cannot wait to see that. Oh, but you know, um, yeah. So basically, you know, we'll see what they're talking about. I want to see because I know there's some there's some announcement to be honest with you, and I want I'm dying to see. Someone said she pregnant. Who who knows? She who pregnant? Oh, Beyonce. We be up. Wait, she's doing an announcement. She posted something. Or I what? mean, it's been so many, so much subliminal stuff going on, like, 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 like the the horse, um, and it's they they thinking that she's going to announce a residency or something. I don't know. Oh, if she does a residency, it's over. I pers personally, and these are my thoughts. I think that uh, that I don't want Beyonce to have a residency yet. I don't either. Why? Why not? No, not yet. No, not yet. Mm -hmm. 
I don't want her to either. Not I want right her. Now. I want her to tour more, tour oh. again. I don't want her to have a residency yet. You know, but somebody just said in the comments, maybe she's announcing a country album because she has been kind of rocking this. Yeah. This look. Somebody said maybe the visual. What visuals? What are they talking? Craig, I don't like the way you looked at me. <laughs> like I know something. Right. I do not. Mm. I'm just an innocent bystander like everyone else. Oh. But I just want to see what's going on. Just, I'm going to really, that's, I'm going to be waiting on the, the Super Bowl. And Ursha. And Ursha. I want to see what, what y'all know about it. Boom, boom, boom. Supermodel. Super uh, Ursha out of L Magazine. Yeah. Yeah. Wait a minute. First of all, that, we can't leave yet. Why the fuck is Alicia Keys there? He, he did a song with Alicia. I, I know, but he could have left her home. <laughs> he did a song with Chris, 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 Chris Brown, but Chris ain't gonna be there as far as I know. He did a song with Summer Walker. I don't think she's but gonna be there. Is, but don't you think Boo was one of his, one of the favorite? He could have left Alicia life? Keys ass right over there in California with that, with that no range singing self. Well, he. <laughs> Beyonce. 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 Alicia saying she starts at the end of her range, at the top of her range. <laughs> and it's giving very much Alicia, you're at the top. You have no place to go. Frank, they say you need to leave Alicia alone. They say you need to leave Alicia alone. Now Alicia writes her ass off. She writes her ass off, but that singing. So you're not a fan of her singing? No. She's another one that needs to pass a few of them songs on to somebody. You said that about Mar Mariah? Hey. She's the girl that should have passed a few of them songs hey. over. Hey, Mo, this is the girl down at the coffee shop. You know? Now, I did like You Don't Know My Name. The one you be walking in every day and I be looking at you rolling your dread. And that unthinkable, if yeah. she does nothing else, she did that. Yeah, I'm the one that be pouring coffee cream in your cup with your meat ass for and I give you that shot at the extra espresso. Oh, because you usually use creamer? Yeah, that's the I, you like, bitch. That's why I keep shitting over here. <laughs> oh my goodness. They keep saying, um, Kiki, why? What you want to say about Kiki? And we're definitely closing out. Fertilizer. Fertile. <laughs> that's it. I won't listen. I think Kiki is talented, but I need to see her sing. Another song. Because if I hear her yodeling over that um <laughs> <they're calling laughs> I'm like, okay, girl, we need another song <laughs> from you, Kiki. And a song of yours. Yes. No, oh, oh God. Oh God. Donna Marie says they call T U S C said. Oh. <laughs> Oh, is she singing in the C section? <laughs> or she's had multiple C sections? Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Uh, they said, oh, they said Kiki's starting the church. Well, she should. You said she started the church? It's, she's starting. A she uh, she has a little church of her own. Oh, she does? Yes, the one that keeps the family. That, the one that keeps saying that children. They keep singing that same song again and again and again. They worship that song. <laughs> I'm like, girl, uh, you have, you've reached her those lines and you ain't got them right yet. Kiki should have put an album out. Another album. <laughs> I was finna go. <laughs> I was finna go up for it. <laughs> that God stopped me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what were you gonna say? No. <laughs> no, girl. I wanna I wanna know what she was gonna you were gonna say. We were talking about church earlier. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. We were talking about church. Yes, and all the homosexuality in the church. We ended up with Kiki. <laughs> <laughs> to remind myself where I was at, praise God, but this is one night revival, praise God, and we're in testimony, first giving honor to God, da 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 basha.
who's the head of my life, giving honor to my pastors. Amen. Bishop and Executive Overseer Dewey, giving honor to my brother, Elder Montmore, giving honor to Bishop Moore, to Amen, Mother Dr. Moore, giving honor to the praise TJ. Yes. I tell you, I'm saved and sanctified. Holy up my sheik out of Bahia. Holy Ghost field and fire baptized. I, I got the Holy Ghost for the evidence of speaking in tongues. Glory to God. I love him and I thank him. Glory to God that even in my ba 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 sha na na. Hey everybody, this is T.S. Madison, and if you are trying to grow your business, brand, or product, why not advertise with me? Email me at booktsmadison at gmail.com so that you can get in on our comprehensive advertisement packages. Unique visits, unique subscribers, honey, a broad demographic. Advertise with me today. Quit talking and listen. Get over to my Patreon right now so that you can receive some exclusive content from the TS herself. Who you said? The TS. Patreon is filled with one-on-one -on -one exclusive content behind the scenes. You can even chat with me in there. Me and you. It's just me and you. So get to www.patreon.com forward slash TS Madison Hinton. And you'll be glad you did. I promise. You ain't gonna have no other choice but to see me because I'm in everything. Every there it is right there. You ain't right gonna there. have no other choice but to see me because I'm in everything and everywhere. Ooh. I'm in film, no. television, okay. streaming, music, bitch, and pornography. Damn. Bye. This has been a T.S. Madison and R.D.E. Multimedia Group presentation. Hey guys, if you just enjoyed watching this video, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, www.youtube.com forward slash T.S. Madison Hinton. Or if you're already here, click that bell up there, up there, one of them, and subscribe so that you don't miss this or any other excellent content that I have for you. Don't meet me here. Beat me here. Ciao. Child, y'all got to read between the lines. Y'all were, were picking up what we put down. Girl, bye, girl.